Indiana High School Football TV3's Game of the Week. The Indianapolis Broad Group of Rockets meet Connersville in Game 6 of the season. Broad Ripple and the Spartans, the Game of the Week on TV3. <clears throat> Welcome to Spartan Stadium and tonight's high school game between the Indianapolis Broad Ripple Rockets and Connersville Spartans. Hi everybody with Ron Wiley, this is Fran Schummel thanking you for joining us on TV3. The Spartans have won their last two games over South Dearborn and Rushville and have a three win, two loss record. While Broad Ripple will be trying to break a five game losing streak, the Rockets have yet to win in football this season. The Broad Ripple losses have been to Heritage Christian 68 to nothing, Indianapolis Addicts 20 to six, Noblesville Homeschool 38 to six, Eastern Hancock 55 to nothing, and Garen Catholic 56 to 14 last Friday. The Rockets have averaged just a little over five points a game while allowing their five opponents an average of 47.4 points a game. Spartan scores a 22-16 overtime win at Richmond in the season opener, a loss to Franklin County, 63-13, a 24-20 loss to Greensburg, a 27-18 win over South Dearborn, and last week's victory over Rushville, 44-34, and the return to Connersville of the War on 44 Trophy. The Spartans' offensive average is 25.2, and the defensive average is 31 points a game. Ron, a warm night for football. I'm sure the medical people will be being sure that these kids are hydrated with plenty of liquid. You know, that may be the difference of this ball game, Fran, yes. is the heat. Uh, this is the first day of fall, and it's uh, summer uh, has uh, <laughs> not let go of, of uh, her grip. Uh, and I tell you, it is very hot. This may be the hottest game that we've ever had here on this field, and you're right, hydration, conditioning, uh, maybe keys to this ball game. No win tonight, and we're in the upper 80s as we are about to have the kickoff of this non-conference ball game. Broad Ripple is black pants and their white jerseys. The Spartans will be in their white pants and red jerseys with white helmets. This is the final game between Indianapolis and Broad Ripple. Ron Broad Ripple is closing. It's one of the schools that the school board in Indianapolis has decided to close in a cost-cutting measure. Yeah, you know, it, it is, and, and obviously this is their farewell season and yes. not having a victory. We saw how hungry Rushville was last week uh, on their home turf as they were uh, winless on the season. They came out and fired. Uh, they were inspired, and they, uh, you know, stuck it to us for about uh, three and a half quarters until we finally gained momentum and got the victory. You know, I look for the same thing with Broad Ripple, but the difference between Broad Ripple and Rushville is that there's only, I think, I counted 21 players on the Broad Ripple side combined with this heat. That may be uh, too yes. much of an uphill battle for them. I agree. I agree. Uh, talking about Broad Ripple being the final ball game, this would be the final game between the Spartans and the Rockets because they only had a four-year contract. So oh, wow. even if the school was continuing on, this would be the final game that the Spartans and Indianapolis Broad Ripple would be, be playing. Uh, speaking of the past seasons, the Spartans and Broad Ripple began playing in 2014. It was the 55 to 32 victory for Connorsville. Right now, we're pausing for the national anthem. Wolski, Tanner Emery, and Gracie Bloom.
excellent rendition of the National Anthem run also by the Spartones, a, a choral group at CHS, and among the members who are here tonight, Holly Slagle, Katie Cooley, Nick Flug, Grant Crisp, Isaac Wolski, Tanner Emery, Gracie Bloom, our congratulations to these young people. Oh, they were fantastic. You know, hearing them warm up right next to us yes. before the game, I, I, I wasn't paying attention, and I thought, boy, somebody's got a recording on. Turned around, <laughs> it was them in the box. It's fantastic. They, yes. they have a – I sound like that in the shower. <laughs> For some reason, I can't trace like that out in real life. Getting back to the past records here between Broad Ripple and the Spartan, as we mentioned, in 2014 when this – four-year season began 55 to 32 the Spartans were winners in 2015 they won 26 to nothing and last year they won 43 to 6 so they have three straight wins over the Rockets they want to make it four here tonight Rob. yeah you know and again four straight uh, that's I don't know the last time we've ever had a four straight you know four game winning streak over anybody so it's kind of <laughs> sad you know, at least in a while. So it's kind of sad that to see that uh, they're going to be off our schedule. And I don't know who's going to be replaced, but, you know, hey, this is something where we can, you know, again, we got we got some momentum. We've got two straight victories against uh, South Dearborn. I was calling them Shelbyville last week, but South Dearborn and uh, Rushville away. We, we haven't got a victory here on this field yet this year. All of our victories That's have right. been That's right. I was going to mention that the yeah. hometown fans have got to see a victory because yeah. the Spartans and three victories on the road, which yep. was a little bit unusual. Yeah, you, you know, I tell you what, uh, you know, we play the same with the same patience. Again, that was the word that we used a lot last yes. year was patience. And, uh, you know, we patience and we just stuck to uh, to the game plan. If we do that tonight, uh, you know, we'll have the first victory on this field. The officials for tonight are Jeff Gwynn, Randy Gwynn, Matt Alexander, Jeff Brown, and Dan Figgin. Be the fellows that'll be keeping this ball game under control here as the Spartan fans are standing as CHS team has run onto the field, running through the west goal post here at Spartan Stadium. You know, this is, and I, you know, I hate to say this, but looking over there and seeing how thin uh, Broad Ripple is, it, and obviously it's a, it's 11 uh, on each side, and you know, they're going to have virtually every kid playing on both sides of the ball. Uh, that's just, wow, that's that's a lot to ask these kids, especially in this heat. It, we're, we're, we're toasted up here. Uh, imagine being out there with all those uh, pads on as it looks like Rushville or Broad Ripple's whole team is coming out. <laughs> as they're getting ready for the official meeting in the center of the field of the big C here at, at CHS. Checking out some of the captains for Connorsville. Nathaniel Flowers is one of the four boys uh, meeting with the officials. Shane McCain is number 58. Number 10 is James Hendley. And number 12 is Donovan Foreman. So those are the guys that are chosen as the co-captains tonight in the ballgame. That's quite an honor. Oh, yeah. Ron. Yeah, I mean, anytime you're, you're, you're voted the captain, you know, that's, that that's, you know, says that your, your peers believe in you and and uh, you know, what, what a great honor for them. I believe the Spartans won the toss, I believe, if I can interpret the signal from the official. Yeah, we'll find out here for too long if we won, if we're, yeah, we won and we, we deferred it, so. Spartans will, defer Spartans will kick off. Kick off. Yep. And, you know, I think that's what Every happened last year. 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 We, you know, we you know, want to get our defense out there and, it's a you know, again, we have the advantage of players. So, you know, we want to wear their offense down because those boys are going to turn around and play defense. Number 32 for the Spartans, Dalton Dubois. He is a 5'8 senior, has 72 carries. And Ronnie's picked up 818 yards rushing. He's near 1,000 more. That's rude. I mean, that, that right there, that, that's over 10 yards a carry. I mean, this kid we saw him last week, I mean, he just really just lit up Rushville. And, and, you know, he was, he was, what I loved about watching him last week, Frank, was the fact that he had great downfield vision. His vision down the field, uh, following his blockers and being patient. Again, that yes. was the word that was the key word last week. And again, I expect to see that this week for the Spartans. But another thing that we saw, which if you traveled with them against, against Richmond, we saw last week, we saw them wearing down a team. They physically wore down Rushville just like they did Richmond. Dalton is a fellow of many trades he yeah. kicks off uh, he's number 32 for you he folks punts. watching 
And he has teed up the ball to the 40-yard line. I can't remember the last time we had a 1,000-yard runner. He may get it tonight. <laughs> that could very him. well be. Now, how much did he have? 818. Oh, yeah, he'll, he'll get his 182. Okay, here's a broad drive. I'm wondering if broad ripple strategy would be. The Spartans have tried run only. Let me check my figures here. They've only tried 20 passes. They've completed eight for 218 yards, but they're mostly a ground team. So I'm wondering if perhaps the strategy of this broad ripple team will be to maybe force the Spartans into passing or something. I'm well, you, you know, that, that has been uh, something that, again, we, we even if we're forced into passing plays, we, we have have always ran it. I mean, that that's that and, and when we have passed it, it's usually, a, you know, a quick toss to the right or left, yeah. strong side, and you know, it, it's, I, I haven't seen too many, of course, against the uh, uh, the Greensburg game when we were, you know, we had a lot of pass plays that were very good over the middle, but for the most part, you're right, we're just uh, you know, we're going to pound it down the middle, we're going to sweep and yes. we're going to run and get three yards in a cloud of dust. Nice kick. Taken in oh, the end zone, yeah. and it will be brought out. Like the front ripple guy wanted to come on out. I'm not sure if, they, if it's automatic yeah. in, in high school or not, but he wanted to come out. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't, so he did, but the official was there and said something to him, so they were bringing it out to the 20-yard line. That's where the Rockets will start. Yeah, that was a nice boot there from Du Bois to kick off this ball game. Yeah, the 60 yards. Yeah. <laughs> yeah he's got a leg when he wants it. Yes, he has. Of course, we had a lot of blocked extra points last week with Rushville. That's something that obviously yes. Coach Kelly's going to you know, hopefully worked on during the season. Spartans will be putting their defensive unit in there, and we are ready to go to work here. Broad Ripple and the Spartans from Spartan Stadium. Here on TV3, the game of the week. Happy to have you join us. Comes a snap There's from a center. Fumble. There's a pileup around the line of scrimmage. No, no, we, we got the ball. Yeah, it was a fumble. It's oh, wait a minute. No, I, no I, he's doing second now, but the way he was. Oh, it is I a fumble. I think yeah, he did. Yeah, 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 I was going to say that. I thought maybe he was in second now. Yeah, that's what I thought. We'll see if we see I thought so, and I wasn't play. sure either, but the Clippers play a scrimmage is a big break yeah, for the Yeah, let's see what we got here. It just looked like, yeah, just his running back uh, didn't know the ball was coming to him, and and uh, we were able to pick it up right there, and that gives us an excellent foot position. I can't remember a time frame when we started a series. Jason uh, Beckman, number, position. excuse me, Jason Beckman, number 55, was in on that play for, for the Spartans. Big break for Connorsville. Oh, let's see if they can break. capitalize there. Yeah. If they're 20-yard line of Broad Ripple. Here comes a wide sweep nice to the near side. And the guess who's carrying the football? Number 32. Yeah, I, 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 and he yeah. is around That's inside the 10. Spider around the 8. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like they're on what, about the 8-yard line right there. So that's first to goal. Again, nice running from Du Bois right there. Again, following his blockers. That's what you want to do. You want to get him, a, get him that space, get him that lane to be able to sweep around. And... You know, again, 182 yards, Fran. He's got 12 <laughs> right there, so he's down to 170. So the 1,000-yard march is on here. The watch is on here for Du Bois. Adam Kelly, the Spartans quarterback, comes to the near side to pick up the play call from Jason Morris, who's the offensive coordinator for Connersville. Kelly up under center. Oh, that was a... It, Here's a That's plunge into the end zone. In. Yeah. The, the football for the Spartans as they score with 11 minutes and 3 seconds on the clock. So 57 yeah. seconds in. That's a pretty good opening. Oh, that's a very good opening. Again, watch this blocking right here as Foreman comes behind his, his blocker right there. And he just, look at those legs, just keep grinding and he gets into the end zone. Spartans up 6 to nothing on... Number Big break and taking advantage of it. Uh, that is a point after try, and Dalton Dubois will be the kicker. It is on its way. It's good. Almost blocked it there. Is. Yes, very close to the very high kick. Yeah, that's something we definitely got to work on. We got to work on that blocking when it comes to those extra points because, again, that could have made a huge difference last week with Rushville. It didn't, but again, yes. those can't. So. They missed two there in the late, in the yeah. fourth period yeah. that, as you pointed out, could have been very costly because. Yeah. They had a two-point lead for quite a while, yeah, they were, and me. they were nursing that until 
Du Bois, uh, or four, uh, yes, Du Bois scored with a minute and right. 32, something like that, well, left to play. It was one of those games where, for, you know, we, we played all, all 48 minutes. Du Bois will kick off again for the second time in this ball game. I can't remember a time where we've had a two-play series and scored. Uh, again, that's a lot of confidence for the Spartans as they, you know, again, pitcher perfect on those two plays. Rockets are about to get the football for the second time. Nice boot again. It is taken at the 10 yard line. Guy getting pretty good yardage, jumped to about the 26 before he's brought down. Yeah, he, you know, he got a little bit more yards than I thought he would get. Uh, yes. Again, he's you know, a very small guy right there. He, uh, he was in traffic yeah, real for a quick. while. Yeah, yeah, he sure was in traffic. <laughs> See where they spotted. 26 yard line is where the Rockets would take over this time. They're at their own one at the beginning of the ball game, and that's when they fumbled. You know, like that when you see three or four guys tackling. I, again, you know, looking at the broad ripple sideline, they have 10 guys uh, on the sideline. We have, you know, four times that <laughs> on our <laughs> sideline. You know, so it's going to be a long night for them if they can't matter, get off the field quickly. They spread receivers. Oh, it's a pass coming up. Nope. It's a running play. To the far side, number two getting free for pretty good yardage. He'll be short of the first and ten, but Maurice Tremel carried the ball for the Rockets. Yeah, and Tremel looks like he's got some speed. Yes, he would have had a couple of blockers in yeah. front of him. He may be gone because he yeah. was hugging that far sideline. Yeah. Ball at the 33-yard line, yeah, their own 33. Watching him, watching him run with the ball in his right hand. I mean, if you're going to be on that side, you need to put it on your left hand so that way you can be as, you know, you want to keep the ball as close to the sidelines as possible if there is a strip. Second and two for the Rockets. Yeah, I was watching pregame warm-ups with this quarterback for Broad Ripple, and this guy does have an arm. He has a cannon, but he wasn't he accurate at all. to the Spartan line and will be pushed back to about the 30-yard line. Let's see where they spot it. Yeah, that could probably push him back about 28, maybe. I'm not sure where his forward motion was. Let's see I'm sorry, 32, approval. maybe. I'm sorry, 32. Yes. Yeah, probably stop it right there, and that looks like 32. He, he picked up inches, maybe. Oh, yeah, it looks like he did. That's a 33. So. We'll keep it third and about three. Yeah, it looks like third and three coming up. Yeah, that was that. Talk about some gang tackling right there. Again, we've seen us lose games at the line. Right now, we're winning the games at the line. Here come the Rockets lining up. They send... Fellows wide to the right oh, and left. Whoop. Yeah, the Spartan yeah. jumped off and it's going to cost well, him five. Him the first down right yes, here, yeah. that's right. It's a miss. Yeah, I mean, miscue by Connorsville as one of the linemen oh, jumped yeah, off. Yeah, number 10 right there. What you want to do is you want to keep froze right there. You know, get right back as soon as possible. You, know, you, get, you know, he froze right there. If he got back, he might not have got the call. But. Ball to 38 yard line, first and 10 for the Rockets. Yeah, Connors, well, again, I'm impressed with the way that they're winning at the line. Can't have those mistakes right there. But, you know, again, the confidence, you can see the confidence frame with their defense right now. Ends are split. Yeah, he's got nowhere to go. Quarterback being chased by three or four Spartans, but he's getting away from wow, him he, and he, on he, the far sideline like in the Connors of territory and finally drag right down but not before he gets to around the 33 yard line. Yeah, I thought there was a block in the back. I don't see any flags at all, but maybe we can pick it up on the replay. But again, that guy was going nowhere. He made something out of nothing. Yes, right he here. was trapped a couple of times back there, way back for a big yeah. loss. But he was eluded to his tacklers and went to the the far sideline moved the ball to the 31 yard line of yeah, Connorsville. That that's where that's where uh, let's see if we can see that block coming up here. I could have swore I saw maybe a block yeah, right there. I mean, I, I don't understand how they got it, but maybe it was more, you know, the refs may have thought it was more on the side. But again, that was a fantastic play where you, yes. you, know, you just make something out of nothing. Again, put yes. that ball in the left part of your hand so you won't fumble like that. <laughs> you know, that's why you got to switch that ball into your left side. Luckily, their uh, receiver was on it. Rockets in Spartan territory for the first time. Yeah, there's, I think we got it. Yeah. We, yeah. Being chased yeah, again we, and we, shoved out of bounds at about the 36-yard line. He, yeah, we stole it. Yeah, that was it, fantastic. Flowers stole the ball. Flowers stole the ball. 
the ball. Their running back, Devin, is fantastic. He got about four or five yards once he got the ball. Very, we'll see if he can pick that up on the replay. But again, the defensive line is fantastic. That was fantastic play there from Flowers as he, you know, again, just mainly just snagged the ball away from, from the, the, the rocket runner. And, you, know, you don't see that very often. Yeah, that wasn't a force fumble. That was just a rip. I mean, he ripped it from his hand. Well, I, you know, I, I couldn't quite tell what was happening. Um, and then I thought, well, wait a minute, our guy's going, <laughs> Flowers is going the other way. And that was it. That was a far sideline. Oh, nice run Here back. comes the play, and it is oh, wow. Du Bois getting to the 41-yard line before he's caught by an ankle and dragged down. And you saw that. got a rocket boy down. Hopefully he'll be okay. You could almost probably see Dalton's eyes wide open right here as he <laughs> makes that little cut right there. You know, he had a lot of green space right there, but, boy, that uh, – uh, Boy, that rocket guy right there, boy, he yeah, came in. he dragged him down, 79. He's on the field right now. He's Tyree Williams. You know, he's not quite sure what I saw there in the replay, what happened with him. He's a 5'8 junior. <laughs> Medical people are coming out to. I don't know if he got a cramp. To him. I'm not sure either. I mean, I didn't see anything on the tackle that. And get that uh, ref out of the way see what to they're working on. No, he's. Flat on his back here. here come yeah, the get that get medical that guy folks. out of there. Yeah, I get, hate to see that, especially with uh, their, see what they're working on him. But again, you know, you hate to see that happen with them Absolutely. only having 21 players. I mean, yes. this guy's needed. Yes. Again, qu could quite see on the replay what what caused his injury, but uh, obviously it's something. That, as you see, our boys are taking a knee, you know, hoping he's okay. Again, could have taken a cleat to the to the throat. Could have you know, very well could have yeah. because he. Two boys as, as he went down why yeah. he may have he may have hit him. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what happened, but hopefully he's all right. And again, not quite sure what they're what they're working on. This is Tyrese Williams. He's a five eleven junior. He's right come up now. Here we yeah, go. he's rolling over and getting up. May have slowly. lost his breath, may have maybe just had to yeah, take that's all it was. He's walking yeah. off the field, so that's yeah. a good sign. Yeah, and, and the faithful giving him the applause. So the boys <laughs> in red, again, like that good sportsmanship from, from, from the uh, Spartans and the faithful. Spartans put their helmets back on and they're ready to go to work here. Yeah, again, not sure what happened. Could have maybe lost his breath, but the heat's going to be coming back. You can almost guarantee that. Be a second and five. Spartans at their own 42-yard line. Yeah, but I mean, that was a great tackle there from 79 there. Yes, it was. I mean, he I mean. chased Dalton and, and grabbed him and brought him down. There's yeah, a handoff nice to line. Dalton. He gets through the line oh, there he and is. picks up some blocking yeah. for the 30. Yeah. 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 And he loses the and he loses the football and rolls out of bounds. And lucky for the Spartans. And yeah. Yeah, that, that one, I mean, that was some nice running there. I mean, you can't, uh, watch, he, the vision that Dalton has, Fran, the vision, seeing what's yes. going on. I thought he was gone, didn't see uh, the Rob Ripple guy coming up, and Dalton sees that. Watch him as he he switches, you know, try to come back again. Got to switch that ball to your left hand. Harry so loses way, the football. Yeah. And it rolls out of bounds. It'll and he fun. instinctively pushed it out. He knew he wasn't going to get it, so he, he pushed it out. But again, you got to move that ball to your left hand when you're on that side of the field. So that way, if something like that happens, it does go out of bounds. It's at the five-yard line, first and goal for Connersville. New boys, when he lost that football, they got up and clapped his hands oh, together he because happy. he wanted yeah. to get into the end zone. Yeah. Yeah. Here's and a play by the Spartans. Flag flies. That's false and start, Connersville. it'll be a five-yard penalty against the Spartans. That'll push him back false to the 10. Can't have those false starts. Can't have them at all. Those are just mental uh, uh, penalties that you know you got to correct well you know it's deep in the season you shouldn't right. be doing those kind oh, of know, things should, i mean you should know your you yes. should know your rhythm you should absolutely know, yeah but uh, you know again that play was i was just so impressed with the way that dalton again his vision that's you know you you, you got to be able to see in lane you got to be able to see out of your you know you got to be able to see the whole field spartans line up in the backfield with kelly is 
Foreman, pass. Dubois, ooh, ooh, he, Adam he rolls to his right and is dropped around the six yard line. Yeah. That was, a, that was an intentional play or what usually? Well, you know, there, were, there really wasn't too many guys open. I mean, he could have tried to maybe yes. toss it right out there to number three, but he had the guy right there. So Kelly just thought, you know, I'm, I see some green. I'm going to go and get me some yards. And he did. And, you know, that's a smart play right there. I mean, he got us positive yards instead of throwing the ball away and losing it down. And you know, I've seen a lot of maturity from him this season, too. Oh, absolutely, for a freshman. Oh, yeah. Spartans at the five-yard line. Second down coming up. Kelly hands off right, to Dolliman Foreman. He plunges oh, no, that forward. Was, yeah. Yeah, he gets into the end zone. Yeah, that was Dalton. Oh, was Dalton, that? I thought yeah. it was 12. Yeah, I, I, well, maybe. Let let's me see. see what we got right let's here see. on the replay. Let's hand off, too. Yep, yeah, no, that was Dalton. Oh, you're right. Well, you Dalton see right Dalton. there, I mean, uh, Foreman with the lead block right there. Yes. You know, again, you know, you just got to find your blockers and follow them, get into that lane, and go. Your boys in with 5-10 here on the clock in the opening period. They put score up to 13 to nothing in favor of Connors. So here's the extra point try coming. You know, just a nice drive there from the Spartans. So, you know, again, textbook blocky, textbook, uh, you know, getting the lanes and, you know, doing what you got to do. Again, this is not good when you have all these guys coming in. You know, we got to somehow learn to block that because we get to intersectional time and play some better teams, bigger teams. You know, we're never going to, uh, you know, have have a uh, extra point. 14 to nothing as the Spartans scored twice here in the opening period with five minutes and 10 seconds left to play. Love it. We're, we're just a little bit beyond yeah. the 12 with the first 12 minute quarter in the Spartans have also. Uh, Put 14 points on. I haven't had that in a long time. You know, of course, no, the, the, no. The, the end of the game last week against Rushville is when we piled on all of our points. So, you know, again, mm -hmm. we're kind of playing from the momentum of last week's ball game. You know, right now the Spartans are feeling good. They're winning at the line. But, again, you can't help but think that, you know, Progress is going to get wore down pretty quickly with only 21 players. Yeah. You can, uh, you can see why they only have five. Yes. Uh, only average five points a game. Yes. Ball up spotted at the 40-yard line for the kickoff. And we got to remember, too, not having that much of a warm-up. Them coming in late to this game has got to be a factor with them, too. So they've got you know, so many strikes against them. Yes, they had some transportation problems. Here's the boot taken at the two-yard line up to the middle in the part of the traffic. Pile the 20-yard line. Now they don't even watch about the 22. I may have let, I mean, we would have lost two yards if you let go in the end zone, got it right at the 20, but uh, you know, you saved yourself some damage right here as, you know, he gets some three or four guys on him right now. And Close to the 20 yard line yeah, is where the, the Rockets will be taking over for the third time in this ball game. Again, other than that, you know, that, that busted up play that went for a lot of yards, um, you know, they really haven't done anything again. No, they've been contained pretty well. Yeah. Well, we've seen it, Fran. We've seen it on the other side of the fence where we've played when we played Franklin County when they beat us at the line. Yes. So, yes. Yeah. So now we're, you know, we're, and again, despite what, what, you know, what is negative against another team, we still got to do our job. You know, and take advantage of all the discrepancies. And, and again, a high this snap from center, the quarterback being chased. Finally throws the football, falls incomplete at the 33-yard line. Yep. Second down coming up. A very dangerous pass right there. I yes, it was. He <laughs> Luckily, there was, uh, you know. He threw in desperation yeah. because Spartans were, were surrounding him. You know, again, I saw, you know, him during warm-up. I mean, that guy does have a, have a cannon for an arm, but, you know, was just very inaccurate, overthrowing his guys. Uh, you know, even if they were wide open, they was, he was high. Uh, when, when he was throwing them downfield, he overthrew them. You know, he just, he's not, not as, uh, and now he's got the pressure of people running against him. He, you know, he's got to be accurate. That's right. Fires, and again, it's wow. incomplete. Good defense by the Spartans on the intended receivers. Well, I think the intended receiver is number seven. We had a, we had a, 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 a couple steps on his defender, and, and the guy in front of him jumped up and, and <laughs> He was thought it was for him, but it was actually, I think, the number seven. So, you know, no communication there as it's third and long. And, you know, without any running game, they're probably going to pass right here. But, 
I would almost want to run to get some yards because they need to get out of this hole. It's kind of that they punt. It's going to have great field position. Well, grip both their own 20 yard line, third and 10. Spartan line wants to hold this time to force a punt, as you said. Here's a high snap to the quarterback, fires long, that guy and it will be guy. out of the reaching intended. Well, he side. was open. I mean, he had a step yes, on he his was. guy. Again, Number just, you know, the ten, pressure of, out of his reach. Yeah, the pressure of, of Connorsville, you know, you throw. Again, this guy is getting no relief at all. Uh, <laughs> Number 29 there for the, and again, throwing it off his odd foot and still got about 40 yards on it. You know, just not an accurate throw. And if we give him time, it may be dangerous. But our line is, our defensive line is, is winning this ball game. Fourth down coming up, fourth and 10 for the Broad Ripple team. Yeah. I don't even have number 29. I on was going to say I don't have a 29 listed yeah, so on their I'm not roster. I'm sure who he is, but uh, nonetheless, he's here comes a boy, a high snap a good, from center. Uh, that may be a safety. And it's a safety. It's, uh, yeah, the Spartans are going to no, force the ball carrier down yeah. in the end zone. Oh no, they're getting that like the one. Yeah, they got outside the yeah. The so. officials are going to rule on this play. Well, that's about the best field position you can have. Doesn't come any better. Huh? No, it does not come any better. <laughs> yeah. Again, that's yeah, that's not that, that's a bad snap on them, and you know we got to take advantage of those things, and we did. And you know, I thought for sure we may have gotten a safety there for a moment, but again, it's forward minimum or it's forward momentum. Uh, you know, got yeah, him to the one yard line. Rocket. Well, Ripple will take a timeout here with. As they should. <laughs> yes, three minutes and 59 seconds. I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure their coach wants to regroup a little bit here. He definitely wants to regroup. Not only regroup, maybe give them some oxygen. You know, they only have two coaches. I've only seen two coaches. Maybe, you know, uh, yeah, I haven't seen that many coaches. We have, you know, 10 at least, I think. Yes, yes. I think we have more cheerleaders than they do have players. <laughs> Again, that is something that. Uh, you know, again, no no fault of Broadway, but they're here to play ball, and again, we got to take advantage of that. But again, these kids are going to wear out quickly, and it, you know, making mistakes like that, and we've seen it, so we can feel for them. Just under four minutes remaining to be played in the opening period. Timeouts over. Spartans will have the ball at the Broad Ripple one-yard line. You know, let's let's have a. You know, one play score. <laughs> Maybe get Kelly to do a quarterback sneak. Quarterback sneak. Yeah. That'd be nice. Yeah. 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 Haven't seen any yeah. Those. Haven't seen those yet no, this year. That's right. Seen a, a halfback <laughs> option last week. It didn't go well, but it was a nice call. <laughs> They're going to send a man wide to the near side, and that is Dylan Weber, number one. Here comes the yeah, play up to yeah. the middle, and oh. the Spartan plunge through. But, uh, oh, he did get push in. back. Okay. Yeah, did he get in? Yeah, I didn't see the, the, the call from the side. But uh, again, that's power football right here. See on the replay who? Oh yeah, he's in there right there. I mean, that's that's yeah, definitely he's. <laughs> that's nice camera work there from from the guys down there and the guys in the truck calling that. That's uh, again power football right there, friend. Uh, du Bois, did he scary? Uh, scary? Yeah, that was Du Bois. Okay, yeah, I wasn't sure. I saw the two, and I uh, Donovan. Uh, that's a lot. See, again, we can, that's, that, that's our weakness right there. I mean, that, yeah, I think we can block it. You know, we may be able to block it. Extra point try missed this time. 20 nothing is the score. Uh, Foreman has, wears number 12 and the boys wears number 32. So I see a two. Oh, I'm you not, see a two, you're not sure who I it see, is. See right. the first number sometimes. It's, it's blocked from my view, so I'm not just. Oh no, I'm, really, I'm that way too. Really certain which one uh, right. carried the ball <laughs> in. Yeah, you know, and again, we, we one play right there again, got that camera angle right there on the line, and that was you know power. That's just pure power right there, Fran. Spartans will be kicking off again to Rob Ripple. Nice line this drive. This is a boot. low one that will be taken at the nine yard line by a rocket. Comes to the near side. Game caught at the 20, 26, 27 yard line. Oh, See where they spot yeah, it. I, I, what am I thinking? I tell you what, I'm not good to tonight of finding out where the spots are, but yeah, it looks like that's a 27 yard line right there. It's, again, you know, not good field position for, for South or for Broad Ripple. 
Uh, and again, the way that they're losing at the line. Calvin Campbell returned that kick. He's only five feet five. Right, they got a lot yeah, of small guys. Small, small guys. Yeah. Okay, uh, the Ripple Rockets the will. Ripple. <laughs> Ripple Rockets will. Will go to work at their own 27-yard line, first and ten. They've been in Spartan territory briefly for right. uh, one time, and that's when uh, the ball was stolen away yeah, from, from them. Yeah, from Flowers. Yeah, <laughs> Flowers wanted that ball, and he got it. But you're right, and that was that busted up play by the quarterback who was. You know, again, that was a fantastic play. But again, we were able to, to again, nice. Defense the ball ball there here. from Barton's the defense gets in there and throws the ball carry for a loss back to the 20. Yeah, Jaden Murray right there getting on that uh, running back like, like tomorrow, yesterday, as you see him right here bust through as soon as he gets, the, you know, the, the the running back for the, again, nice, just blows past his blocker right there, and nice open field tackle there for Murray, who's a 5'10 sophomore. That's good news. Loss on the play of three, second and 13, we'll call it. Rockets at their own 24-yard line. You know, one thing I'm impressed, Fran, from watching the, 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 the game uh, when we played against Franklin County, where we just really got blown off the, 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 the field, we have steadily improved each game. Yes. And, and that, that, that's, that's a nice the guy's a quarterback open. being forced out of his pocket to the 50-yard line where it is incomplete. Yeah, again, had a guy open, just not accurate at all. That's too, right. Too far to the left. I don't know what their passing statistics are, but. Not, yeah, not good tonight. No. Yeah, I mean, again, he's throwing. He's not set. He, I don't think he's been set when he's thrown all night long. I mean, he's being chased out of the pocket yeah, right. all the time. And, so he's, you know, he's, you know, trying to get it down there, but you know, again, he's had a couple receivers open. Yes. He just hasn't been able to hit them. Third down coming up now, third and thirteen for the Rockets, their own territory. Spartan set the defense. You know how nice is it to have another team be third and forever? We've had that <laughs> so many times this yes, year. Yes, we've seen that, haven't we? Yeah. Here comes the quarterback getting three from a would-be tackler, but not the second one as he is dropped at the 27-yard line. That was a beautiful tackle there from number 58 for the Spartans. Again, that was just one of those plays that you see. I mean, McLean's had a lot of those tackles this year. And, and, and you know, he comes up right there and, again, nice tackle, wraps around the waist, doesn't let go. I mean that, you know, we've seen some bad tackles this year. We've improved in that area too. Fourth down coming up. They moved the chains a couple of yards, so we'll make it a fourth and ten. And now they got their punter in there. First time he's punted all all game and you know we're gonna have some fantastic no second game that yeah, we second. punted last time. I forget it actually he Punted this time, last time. Ball rolls oh, he's and up. picked up by Huntersville's number 30. And he, he was he was trying to do a Madden play yes, right there. Yeah. Okay. It could have been dangerous. I didn't know if he was going to grab it, but he did it the last minute when he got a blocker. And you know, just wasn't able to do anything with it once he got the ball. Again, I thought he was going to let it go. And I uh, may have touched his arm right there, Frank. I don't know. But... Uh, Again, didn't put himself in good position, and you know, watch this. <laughs> he turns around, and think, oh, maybe go the other way. And, yeah, it would have been great if he'd have busted. That's Caleb Messer. He's only a freshman here at CHS, so he's getting some varsity play tonight. Yeah. Like that. Here's a pitch out. That's not Whoop. good. There's a flag. It's going to be a holding. And a loose and football. And ball. I'm not sure if a Rickle rock. They did. Yeah, they did. Yeah, that's Rickle. Not sure what happened with that. I'm not sure what either. The pitch out and the yeah. ball carrier coming to the near side. Yeah, Hence just took his eyes off the ball right, right there. As you clearly see, he took the eye off his ball. And, you know, again, trying to pick up that oblong shape ball. He's trying to get He's thinking, it to stop. He's thinking, I got it right there. It went right between his, right between his That's arms. That's right. He oh, had it. And then here yeah. comes a broad ripple boy in, and yeah. he has it. So the Rockets get a big break. They have the ball at the day one yard line of Connors Hill, first and ten. Yeah, Hens is not happy about that. He, you know, again, trying to pick up that ball, and it's all squiggling around. <laughs> it, it, it suddenly gets greasy. It suddenly That's gets right. I mean, slick. he couldn't get it to yeah. stop. <laughs> 
Yeah, again, defense has, has really been, you know, this is where you're playing with confidence because you don't feel like this is a threat. And we've played teams before where this feels like it's a threat oh, when yes. we've made a mistake that, oh, my goodness, they're going to capitalize on it. We don't feel that way now because of how well our defense has played. That's Shotgun not a good pass. Almost an interception yeah. by the Spartans at the goal line. It's off the Pass fingertips of a Connorsville defender. I thought that was going to be an interception. I mean, it I thought so, too. It stayed up there a long time, and it was headed for the Spartan. Yeah, I can't quite tell who that was. Number 31. Yeah, yeah Jared Isaacs. He's a 5'8 soft or 5'8 senior. Second and 10 for the... Broad Ripple team in Spartan territory at the 31-yard line after recovering a fumble. Quarterback under center. Oh, he's, yeah. And That's there's a the ball. He's a good ball. The Spartans fall on it. I believe they're going to rule it down yeah. near the 38-yard line. Yeah, that, that would have been a touchdown. I mean, we were there. Yeah. We were coming to the end of the first quarter. Okay, we played it 12 minutes here tonight, and it's been a profitable very score. Profitable. <laughs> yeah, that was for, very profitable. For the Spartans, they lead 20 to nothing at the end of the first 30. Uh, we'll change directions on the field. We'll have the second 12 minutes getting underway. Big foot or play basketball. Uh, boy, <laughs> Ready for the second quarter to get away here at Spartan Stadium tonight. Well, Griffel has the football. They are trailing the Spartans by three touchdowns and a couple of extra points. Yeah, they just really haven't mounted any offense, and it's third and forever again. And again, we know, or I'm sorry, second and forever. We know, again, he's... Yeah, the quarterback keeps the ball and runs to the far side on the sweep. He may gets have a into the end yeah. zone for... Ball, I believe any flags on the field. I didn't no. see any flags. That was a good play right there. Yes, again, good again that's that's not what they want to do every time because that was not a design play. But again, uh, you know, he he had no what nowhere to go, and again, that wedge opened up right there, and you know, he saw it, and he's again like where he put this ball in his right hand, and you know, he just had one player to beat, and you knew that was going to happen, and. You know, he zigged and zagged his way into the end zone. Nice play there from number yes, 29. It was. I wish the I knew what his name was. I, it would be nice if we had a, his name on the on the roster, but we don't. Number 29, maybe he's. I don't believe he scored, Ron. Yeah. I think they're spotted the ball. I oh, guess no, they're going for out two. The, oh, okay. I wasn't. Yeah, they're going for two. Okay, fine. Well, maybe he stepped out of bounds. He was on the far sidelines, but he did get into the end zone. Here's the point out of drive. Yeah, again, that's just you know, a busted up play, and you know, we got to be able to stop that once that happens. And you know, again, that there was nobody there for that guy to go in. I mean, there was no, absolutely was, no lane. Well, he was blocked at the Spartan. Yeah, yeah. Uh, forced them to miss the two-point conversion, but yeah. they did pick up six points on the play. So the score now is 20 to six in favor of the Spartans, with just seconds remaining uh, off the clock, rather, in this second quarter. Yeah, I gotta feel good about that for Broadway to get on the board the, the, the first play of the second quarter and you know again it was a second and forever and you know they weren't really mounting any offensive uh, offensive all at, at all you know offense at all and you know again that's one of those plays where you, know, you really you know, where the defense was too good. I mean, our our boys, uh, you know, forced them out of the pocket. You know, we were good downfield. But again, since we're, you know, having, you know, have such sticky defense on the receivers, the receivers turned to the blockers at that point. And, you know, they cleared the way for the quarterback to, to scamper into the end zone. It's kind of unusual. The Broad Ripple met with their coach after, after the score. Now they finally tee up the football on the 40-yard line. The official stood there. Waiting for them to come onto the field. The Spartans are lined up, ready, ready for go. the kick. Looks like number 29 kicks, too. They have two quarterbacks listed on their roster Michael Koch 
right number. Care, where, where's three? I see no three out there. I can't find their other. That's right. It, he is the quarterback there according to this. There's a kick in the return. They get return by the spot down the three yard line. You know, again, that was a nice, nice lane that, uh, you know, number 31 got into there. You know, we're getting, being patient right there, watching his, his uh, lane develop, open up, and, you know, he was just a step or two. He could have blown it apart. Yeah, I waited for some blockers. That's Jared Isaacs. I like him, like that kid. Yeah, I only seen one quarterback. Uh, That's on right. Their yes, roster. I thought there were two. Coat. Yeah. Yes. And they only have him as five ten, and that guy number twenty nine is a little bit bigger than five ten. I 5 think 10. so. Yes. Yeah, he's probably six three. Spartans first and ten at their own forty two yard line. Up in this ball game, twenty two six. It's a play as they go into the, the Spartans go left and. Pick up a couple of yards to about the 44 yard line. Yeah, I mean, Donovan got a few yards there as they go ahead and, I mean, they took his leg out right there. And, you know, again, not a huge lane to go through, but enough to get just a few yards on that. Second and eight for Connorsville. You know, when we've stretched out the defense, when we've pitched to the left or the right, you know, the weaker, the strong side, that's when we've been the most successful. It looks like we're set up that we're going to be going down the, you know, down the, the hole. And that's some Spartan good blocking and three for first and ten and to throw up the territory about the 45 yard line. Yeah, kind of to the left right there. Again, that was a nice watch just right here as he's you know, following his blockers. And, you know, again, we went past the, the, the broad ripple guy right there. Again, look how many blockers are down in front of him. I mean, that's, you know, and we haven't seen that that many times this year, Fran. I mean, that's when we right. played here, you know, we, we've had all of our losses, unfortunately, here on this field. And you know, we've lost the game at, at the line. And right now, our line is really doing their job. And when you have three or four guys down the field, that's what you want as a running back. Uh -huh. Nice pickup by Donovan Foreman. He has 482 yards rushing going into tonight's game. Here's the pitch out to the near side. Cutting that's to the good. 40. Cutting and into the, the second. Down, 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 down around the 25-yard line. First yeah, that, uh, and, and as Kelly comes over and limping just a little bit, he don't like to see that. But again, that looked like that was more of a lateral. That wasn't. Oh yeah, I, I know the screen pad wasn't sure. Um, as the ball comes to the near side, I gotta find out if they'll Skyler. count that as a, as a run or if they count that as a pass since that went behind him. We'll find out. Skylar Hans is the ball carrier. You know, I like that. He, along with Foreman and Du Bois, Kelly make up the backfield for CHS. Yeah, Hans, they, they threw him down hard. You know, again, I like that. It, you know. First and ten for the Spartans. Broad ripple territory. Kelly fires a pass that's, that's, that will be ooh. through the arms of the interior. Well, the I'm not sure. Could be oh, there was the a defender there. Then that was a late call. I mean, that was a very late call. As Kelly, you know, again, look at the time that he has. Yeah, that. Yeah, let's see if we can see. Here we go, right here. Yeah, he never turned his back. Yeah, that, that's definitely pass interference. I mean, his head uh, was in his chest, and yeah, that uh, again, the, the guy in stripes here couldn't get his flag out. But again, that was uh, a clear case pass interference. You have to turn your head, and he didn't do that. His head was plastered in, in our receiver's chest. So. That was Warren Tool. He's number three for the Spartans, a 5'10 junior. Yeah, that was the official first pass right there. The other one was a was a, a lateral. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The running play from Hence. Spartans line up. They have the ball at the 15-yard line. Let's yeah. see. First and ten. Oh, that's Foreman. Uh, oh, that's Foreman nice running there moving from Foreman. To yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's hit. He finally gets he into the end zone. I thought he may have gone in. Nope, he don't. I don't think he it. quite that's made it. Wow, that, that, we got to see this right here again. That's a lot of zigging and zagging right there. That, that's, yes. a, that's a mad play where you're, Number you know, 12. you're, uh, you know, you're, you're messing up your joystick <laughs> right there. I mean, he gets, he, you know, he's, look at him, surrounded by the white, yeah, white, he keeps white getting jerseys right there. Defenders. Okay, you may have got a face but mask right there. Let's see what we got. Let's see if he goes down. Oh, yeah, uh, right before, yeah, just a little yeah, bit. Yeah, right before um, he gets into the end. So it's. From here, it looked like he <laughs> the ball had gone over <laughs> before, but 
You know, nice, First nice and goal work. for the Spartans. Uh, the one. That's Flowers yeah, in there. It plunges in. Yep. And Spartans have a touchdown. Yeah, when you saw Flowers in there, you knew he was going to get the ball. <laughs> that guy's like a diesel engine, man. He's just going to go in there. He's going to power his way in, and he did. And, <laughs> you know, now we're up 20 again. You know, nice run in there from the Spartans. Again, nice vision from the the running backs, especially Foreman on his zigging and zagging right there to get us to that uh, first and in inches. Again, we got to stop these guys from, from penetrating the line and, and you know, getting close to blocking. They didn't block it last time. There's the point after try coming up here. Going to be a try where Foreman holds for yes, wow. New Boys. He gets this one to make it a 27 to 6 score. You know, very good game all around from the Spartans. You know, this you talk about confident boost, and again, we, we've seen the, the the improvement each game, Fran, and and again, what the, the word that keeps coming up, we'll say it again, uh, patience. Yes, I mean, you know, I agree. you know what I'm talking about. I mean, these kids, yes. you know, they're, they're not forcing the issue; they're taking what's given to them, and and they're being positive. As you see, the girls they while my arms are sore watching them do 27 <laughs> push-ups, I don't even think I can do six. <laughs> Eight minutes and four seconds remain yeah. on the clock to be played here in the opening half here at Spartan Stadium. Connorsville with a big lead here, yeah, putting nice on an lead. offensive show. The boys getting ready to kick off again to the Indianapolis team. Boy, that's a good kick. This is beyond the, <laughs> the arms of the antenna yeah. receiver yeah. into yeah. the end zone. Be brought out to the 20-yard line. I have no idea why he even thought about uh, trying to. Grab I don't that. know. It was <laughs> high above him. Yeah. He raised his hands yeah. or he raised his arms like he was going to catch it. And yeah, <laughs> he cleared those and into the end zone. Yeah, that uh, you know definitely was a boom. I mean, we've seen him booming uh, here the past couple weeks. Broad Ripple takes over at their own 20 yard line. You know, they just have not had good field position again a couple of times. They had been in our territory frame, but they, mm -hmm. you know, they fumbled and I mean, they scored that one uh, touchdown. But other than that, uh, you know, it's been anemic for, for Broad Ripple. And we could feel their pain because we've had. That's right. Uh, I know, agree. We've yeah. been on, on the receiving end, haven't we? Of, yeah. Of those kind of things happening. Okay, the Rockets ready to go to work. Yeah, and I'm not sure why they're eating clock like this when they're down 21. Snap from center, quarterback fires, and it will be nice complete at the 33-yard oh, line. Boy getting free, and I believe it is yep. going to be a TD for a broad ripple. Yeah, again, that's not, that, you know, that, that's a play that uh, was busted up. and you know. It's running into the end zone, and they got beyond the Spartans defenders, and that's Morris Trummel. Yeah, so that was it is a touchdown for this Broad Ripple team. Yeah, again, just, I mean, going for the ball, not being able to get it, and, you know, doing that zigzag right there. And, you know, once he got past our guy, he definitely, yes. you know, he was gone. You know, it looks like he was limping there a little bit. I, I was wondering, but, uh, you know, he's trying to get that extra bit of oomph there to get in that <laughs> end zone, and he did. And, you know, nice play there from Broad Ripple. Here's a point after try. It's going to yep. be a two-point conversion attempt. Here comes Why, the they're play, doing a, a big pileup of yeah, players. A quarterback sneak from the three-yard line. That's, that usually doesn't work, Not and good. it didn't. Yeah. <laughs> that was a crazy call. It was. It was. Yeah. Yeah. Second time they yeah, tried an extra point and missed him on both. So. I mean, I just would have not known to, to do a, a, a quarterback sneak from the three-yard line. Now, if you were the quarterback, <laughs> yeah, you would have been able to get it. Oh, there. sure. Yeah, we know sure. you would have, Fran. Yeah, just walked up over the Yeah, you just over jump the over. Pilot. Yeah. <laughs> you had to spring you jump over the hole. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but again, uh, you know, that that wasn't, you know, Rod Group was taking advantage of some busted up plays, and that was one of them right there. And, you know, kudos to them for, for keep trying. Again, that's, you know, I don't know how many times the, the quarterback for Broad Ripple has passed, but I haven't seen him set and throw a ball all game long. He's always been on the run. Yes. And that one was thrown up there, and, and the shortest guy on their team 
got the ball and uh, was able to make that move. And once he made that move, he was gone. It'll be a Rod, Rod Ripple kicking off to Connersville with seven and a half minutes to be played here in the opening half. You know, one thing we haven't seen all season long was a get uh, on, on either team. Hopefully it goes for us as a, as a run back. That would be nice, wouldn't it? That would be nice. <laughs> we would like to see that. Fans would like that. Oh, they would love it. <laughs> That's not a good kick. No, a short kick comes down at the 25-yard line. Picked up by a Spartan coming to the near side, cutting the corner in traffic and dropped it around the 36, 37. Yeah, good yeah. field position there for the Spartans. You know, again, taking advantage of that bad as number 11 gets the ball and he's loving. It's Caleb Weaver who returned the, the kick for the Spartans. Yeah, well, First I, and 10 for the Spartans. They're in their own territory, but I, they're out in front of this ball game, 27 to 12. I like the way Weaver switched this ball into his right hand there as he was coming to the right side. And you know, we definitely uh, you know, want to keep going, keep the foot on the pedal. You know, as we want to go into, well, we get the ball uh, to start the second half, so that's always a positive. Then the Spartans lining up. You know, again, that's probably going to go to the right side. Oh, no, switch to the left. Nice run in there from Du Bois. comes to the near side. Oh, boy, he got nailed. He is dropped at the 45-yard line. By the quarterback. Hill. Yeah, that was number 29 who put a hitting on uh, Dalton. That, uh, yeah, he jumps you know, up. He's okay. Oh, yeah, he's, he's a tough kid. But, <laughs> you know, again, look at that. Uh, you know, busted up. You talk about busted up plays, taking advantage of it. We did right here as he, you know, got you know, free from some people. And he's going to take a hit right here. Yeah, he gets. I mean, this, this broad ripple kid comes in and. and oh, yeah, that, you know, that, that I'm surprised. Him head, yeah. yeah, he nailed him with his elbow. I'm surprised there yeah, wasn't a flag I on that. Too. That. That should have been a flag going for his head like that. I'm very shocked that there wasn't a call. Second and two for Connersville. Here's the play. Yeah, just and not a good. Through the middle know. and no gain, I don't believe. Broad no. line held. Yeah, that that. a third for the Spartans. Yeah, got to stretch it out a little bit right there. Look, they may have lost you. No, I guess they have it. 45-yard line, a third down and two for the Spartans. Their own 45. Yeah, let's go ahead and stretch it out just a little bit and. Come the Spartans. Yeah, I'm not sure Dylan where they Weber's wide to the far side. Oh, Kelly's got it. That's a nice play there from Kelly as he got the first down. Yeah, oh, that's not here. good. That's number 29 again. This, you know, no wonder he, 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 he hurt our quarterback. It'll be a first down for the Spartans. Yeah, he, he's, he's, play playing, down. he's playing way, way, way too, too rough. I mean, he. Now, now Kelly's down with probably an injured shoulder. And, you know, there's no reason to pick up a guy and slam him like that. I mean, he should be thrown out of the field for, uh, I wish we could show them what he did to, to hey, Du Bois and elbowing. Yeah, that's not, that's the not a, yeah. medical people yeah. to yeah. attend to the Spartan that is down. Yeah, not happy with that guy's play. I mean, I, you can be no. fired up and stuff, but let's not be, you know, probably probably just a, his wind knocked out of him as his. Uh, yeah, Adam jumps up, yeah. walking around. Yeah. And the crowd shows their appreciation for him. Yeah, he got the first down, although it looks like his right arm is yeah. kind of hanging a little low. It's yeah, not swinging as much. Come out of the ball game. Yeah, you know, of course, uh, you know, Adam Kelly, the coach, is. You know, also the, the father of Adam Kelly Jr. And you don't like to see your kid get <laughs> get nailed right. like that. But as the head coach, you know you know what to expect in the ball game. And Alec Atkins will come in at quarterback. He's a 5'10 sophomore at CHS. So young guys in the quarterback spot. Yeah, run. yeah, we do. We have Freshman a lot of young guys and a sophomore. Yeah, Alec we've, we've wears had, number five. We've had a lot of, of sophomores and freshman quarterbacks here lately. Snap no, that was the boy behind the center. Middle. And see, a pile up of players on the, on the far side and around the 50 yard line, maybe the 49 of Broad Ripple. Yeah, that was Du Bois getting the ball right there. Spotted at the 47 yard line. 
About a second and ten, second and nine coming up for Connorsville. Yeah. Yeah, again, not not too many good plays here lately. It, as I'm looking, trying to scan, find out where, where they got Adam at. I don't see him Adam sitting down anywhere, so he's a timeout oh. for Broad Ripple. At 4.46 on the first half clock here at the HHS Spartan Stadium. Now again, second and what, uh, eight? Yes, it to go we have the second and eight as the ball will be at, as we mentioned in Broad Ripple territory. Yeah, we haven't done any you know sweeps or anything like that. Uh, you know this this series actually for a while. Yeah, you know, we, we've gotten some nice plays down the middle, but you know let's keep going back to our bread and butter until they stop us. As you see Kelly there with his helmet on and. You know, he may be getting ready to come back in. Who knows? But again, he, you know, took a hard. Yes. In my opinion, unnecessary. It was I unnecessary. think so. But the officials didn't think so. so well, yeah, that, that no they, 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 you know, anytime you have somebody and you're lifting them up like that, blow the whistle dead and let the kid go. Don't yes. slam them down like that. That was just yes. completely and totally unnecessary. Timeout's over. Yeah. Adam came back in. He wears number two. He hands off. Oh, that's a nice run right there. There's a flag and maybe a hold. Ball yeah. sweep of the left side. Should be a first and ten, but there's a flag at the 45-yard line. Yeah, it's going to be holding against the Spartans. Yeah, it's going to be coming back. I saw it, but I'm not sure exactly who it was that got it. But again, there was a. A definite hold there for the Spartans. Again, nice run there. Nice to get to the left, but, you know, you can't be doing the holding. Yeah, that was Foreman who was carrying the ball, but it's brought back to the 45-yard line of Connersville. So repeat second down. Yeah, that puts us, you know, hurting on it right there. Again, that was a nice play. Again, I, that, I don't know, Fran, I haven't... I don't think that may one that we've had some offside penalties. I was going to say we haven't had them in a long time. Second and 15 for CHS. Here's the snap. That's not. Ooh. Man getting it fooled free. me. Yeah. And picking up some blockers. Finally is brought down at around the 45 yard line. Nope. Make yeah, I was fooled. Yard line. I was fooled like the Broad Ripple guy. I thought it went to Foreman right there, but it did, uh, you know, went to. Du Bois, he, you know, got a, uh, you know, again, he got stopped by his own guy right there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is our, one of our rare third and longs tonight. Third down, eight yards to go for the Spartans. Here comes the play up to the middle, around to the 41 yard line. It'll be short, I think, the first and 10. Yeah, it looks like we're going to probably go for it. There's no reason. Had to get to about the 39 yard line. It's going to be a couple of yards short. Yeah, again, like that to where, you know, he's, you know, keeping your legs moving. Again, if you're watching this and you're in Pee Wee football, you know, these are the fundamentals that you need to do. And that is, you know, move your legs when you're wrapped up. You keep going. If they're not grabbing your legs, keep moving and you can get a few extra yards. And, you know, again, definitely forward down territory as our offense is like a fine oiled machine. And you got to throw confidence at them right here. And let's go for it for fourth down. And now we're off. So there goes a Flag. fourth. And we may now punt. Yeah, we may punt. Yeah, they're debating on who did who. And oh, no. It's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's broad ripple. I thought it was, but I wasn't certain. I, and yeah, I'm going to mark off five yards here and give the Spartans a first and Well, ten that's an easy way to get the first down. 36-yard line of Indianapolis. Yeah, I, I can't tell. It looked like we were... I thought yeah. we jumped it too, but I mean they can move, but they don't. You know, well, oh well, we'll take it. <laughs> you know, I mean we're I'm You're making up for that call that yeah. they didn't when Adam was. Uh, oh yeah, was slammed. Down. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, they wouldn't do that. No, of no, course not. <laughs> no, of course not. But again, I didn't see anybody make a call, so you know, they need to come out there and make a call. Let us know what's going on. Kelly looks and over. The oh, that's defense, a, and now that's a delay of game. 
that's going to yeah. they're going to bring them back five. Yeah. So well, at least we had the first. <laughs> so that uh, that's all that matters is we got the first down. So <laughs> yeah. yeah, first and fifteen now. Forty-one yard line of Rudra over the football is placed. Yeah, I'm not sure we're going to see Devoy punt unless we're on their our, on our one. But other than that, I think we're, we may be at the two and still going for it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, again, that's confidence right there. Is as you know, again, we we'd like to keep the ball the rest of this quarter because then we have it at the start of the third. Weber is wide to the near side. Here comes There's the play. another flag is flying, yeah. and a run by the Spartans dragged down the bounds at about the 26, 27 yard line. Yeah, and it's probably going to be coming scoring. back. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. Can't. Penalty against yeah. the Spartans now. Yeah. Yep, definitely coming back on out of the legal shift. You know, again, some of these mental mistakes are starting to creep in. We can't mm -hmm. have those mental mistakes. You know, again, you can't uh, can't keep making these mental mistakes. Still first down, but now it's first and 20. Right, it's at the 46-yard yeah, line. As we run. take a timeout as Kelly is Kelly gonna, wants to talk over the situation with his. 11 players out there. Yeah, he, well, he definitely gets them, gets them you know, we, we want to score going into the to, to the quarter. Definitely want to score mm -hmm. on that. So, you know, what he wants to do is set his troops and, again, making too many mistakes this series. Yeah. Two minutes remaining in the opening half here tonight. Yeah, 2.03 to go. And, you know, let's just bust one out. Let's get uh, Du Bois on a sweep or Foreman or, or Hintz or, or you know, whoever. Talking over the situation during the overtime. You know, again, we've talked about this, Fran, you and I, we've talked about it many times. You know, you see the improvement. Uh, you know, we come out, we beat Richmond for the first time since 1939. Uh, that. <laughs> That <laughs> incredible first time beating them in ninth to third in the way we beat them was impressive. I mean, we wore them down. We came back from 16 nothing down and wore them That's down right. and beat Richmond. 22 unanswered points. At, yeah, at Richmond. Come back for our first game against our rivals, Franklin County, and we got dusted. So in Franklin County, they put on a real show here. Yeah, they did. That night. Yeah. But they've kind of struggled since then. Since then, yeah. They've lost a couple of games. A pitch out to See, there the we boys go. in the far on a sweep on the. Far side, and gets to about the 30-yard line. See where they spot it. They're on the far side of the field. I looked at at the, the the first. I thought, oh, he got the first, and I realized, oh no, he needed to get 20. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was looking at the first stick. 32-yard line is where they'll place the football. Yeah, again, nice blocking there from Spartans. You know, that's yeah, very nice blocking right there at the very end. You saw Devoy wrap up the ball so that way he wouldn't uh, have a fumble. And he's coming off limping, not yeah, liking that at no, all. 30. Yeah, he's, it's 32. his right foot, too. Coming to the near side. I hope it's uh, a quick recovery for oh, it's, Dubois. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, he's not. Second and five for the Spartans in territory of Rod Ripple. Here's a nice from the near He's side. gone. He's and in there. into the end zone oh, is the ball carrier. Yeah, you know, I tell you, that was a very nice play. Get him yeah. on the left side. Looks like there's some. Here's the pitch out. Oh, I thought I saw a flag for some reason. I have no idea what I was looking at, but but again, nice running there from from Donovan is, you know, again, good blocking right there, and you know, he just that's just his Jets right there getting past number one for the score, and you, know, you like to see that as we score before the half. Foreman runs it in for the Spartans to put him up 33 to 12. Extra point try coming up. Yeah, they're going to go for it because uh, Du Bois on the side, so go for it too. Yeah, he's their point after kicker, so we'll try a two point conversion here. Here's his And play. that's not gone anywhere. And it's uh, line holds of Rodrigo. Spartans fail on the two point conversion try with one minute and seven seconds left to play in the first half here tonight. It is Connersville 33 and Indianapolis Broad Ripple 12. Yeah, I'm not sure what I saw with Donovan. I'm looking over, or Dubois, I'm looking at him as he's laying on the track and, you know, has the uh, the trainer right there. She's not really working on his leg and he's just laying on his back and now he's getting up. Not sure exactly what what's going to happen with him. Hopefully it's just a cramp and, you know, no, well, he's, he's still, still limping. favoring his right leg. Yeah, yeah and, and nobody's working on it. So not sure 
Yeah. You know, what's going on with that? I don't know either. He's hobbling around on one foot here. Yeah. Yeah, we can't miss that kid as he's going for a thousand right here. <laughs> Spartan to a kickoff to Broad Ripple with the first half about to end. Here's the boot, and it will be grabbed at the 20-yard line by a Broad Ripple player coming to the near side, picking up some blocks, finally knocked out of bounds at about the 37, 38-yard line. Yeah, that uh, put some, you know, there was some busting going on with some of our guys flying around, some of their guys flying around, and, <laughs> and that kid didn't fall down. I mean, he stayed up the whole time. <laughs> Like a pinball, so okay, hopefully. Let's, let's see if the Rockets go to the air here with uh, oh, yeah, a minute yeah. left to play. Yeah, they'll definitely go to the air again. We cannot allow them to have a busted. Their two scores have been busted plays. The and they've at, taken advantage of it. Balls at their own 34-yard line for Indianapolis School. Yeah, the boy there is going off to the locker room, and that's not good at all. Don't like to see that. Yeah, don't like to Hopefully see Hopefully at halftime they can patch him up and he can be ready to yeah, go. Yeah, we're hoping it's a cramp. Half. Yeah, hoping yeah. it was a cramp. They weren't really doing anything. So. No, she yeah. wasn't the uh, medical people. No, they're just Here's watching a snap him. from center, the quarterback being chased. Yeah, nobody and downfield. Is getting beyond a couple of Spartans, finally pushed out of oh, bounds. Oh, he went, wow, he, James well, he jumped a, right back up. was chasing him all over the field and yeah. finally ran him out of bounds on the far side. Yeah, I mean, he took, he took out, you know, almost took out their, their, uh, their <laughs> seat over there. I mean, this kid, you know, again, we don't have a name for him because we don't have his number on the, the list, but, uh, you know, he's definitely more than bigger than, than what Michael Koch is listed. That's a nice shoulder right there. That was perfect. That was beautiful there from number 55 for the Spartans, Jason Beckham. Second, Beckman. about three or four for Broad Ripple. Yeah. Shotgun formation. Here comes a pass. That will be intercepted. Caught by a Spartan at the 43 yard line. Yeah. Yeah. Slipped and fell. And, and that was Weaver. Oh, was grabbed by Caleb Weaver. Yeah, Weaver was, I mean, it was right there, but their, their guy slipped. He was yes. wide open and, and Weaver, boom, he'll take it. <laughs> Spartans take over on the pass interception. It'll be at their own 42 yard line. You know, not sure if we're going to, you know, what we're going to do here. You know, I would almost want to give Dalton a little bit more time and maybe kind of air it out a little bit. So that way, if it, it passes, we'd stop the clock just to give Dalton that extra few seconds, few minutes sure. that he needs to get worked on. One half a minute to be yeah. played here in, in this first half. Here's the snap. Kelly hands off to the near side. Comes Foreman, number 12, Four gets inside Broad Ripple territory about the 48 yard line. Yeah, it was pretty well. We'll spell the first half here as the clock is running. Oh, yeah. stops at 21 seconds. Yeah, we call it, again, might as well use our timeouts, give Dalton that extra time to, to get worked on. We get the ball coming up the second half, so. That's good. Nice stiff arm right there from Donovan. Did you see that kid's head go back? Nice stiff arm. The ball's at the 49-yard line of Broad Ripple. You Second know, and one for Connorsville. You know, again, definitely, you know, thinking ahead a little bit. You know, as we get the ball coming out, hopefully we'll see Du Bois come out because, you know, again, he, you know, it's good to have to be able to do all kinds of things, but you have somebody to back up. This kid is, is, a, is an all-star <laughs> running back. There's no doubt about that. He's our, he's our extra point kicker. He's our punter. He's our kickoff guy. I mean, he That's does a right. lot. Yes, so he when does. he's out, we need three or four guys <laughs> to pick his place. You're right. <laughs> you know, I mean, Donovan and Flowers, they, they can definitely get in there. Hints, I mean, they, they could definitely do, especially sure. with the blocking that we've got going on, they, they, they could pick up the stack. But, you know, who's going to kick? <laughs> you know, who's going to kick extra points? <laughs> you know, well, obviously, we didn't have anybody with extra points because we went for two. As Kelly's in shotgun. And that's Passes a pass. To the far side. He's one for two now. That's Picks good. As hence. Hence. He is bumped out of bounds at about the 38 yard line. Yeah, you know, that's a you know, good, nice pass right there. Get out of bounds. Again, get that extra time for, for Du Bois. Nice pass there from Kelly. You know, you definitely want to lead him a little bit more so that way he's in stride when he's running. You want to do that. First and 10 for the Spartans with 14 seconds to be played here in the first half. 
Well, I tell you what, it's 29. He's everywhere. Ball spotted at the broad drip of 40. Yeah, 40 yards to go, 14 seconds to go. Kelly again in the shotgun again. Haven't seen that too many times. Yeah. Rolls out for a pass, fires one that is Not through good. the hands of the intended receiver. I yeah, was going for hence right there. It only took four seconds off the Scott clock. Where's number 15? You know, he hence is one of those guys again. You know, we're going to miss him too. He's a senior. He's out of here. You know, he he's he's done a lot uh, uh, on his four-year career. Ten, yeah. ten seconds remaining here in the first half. You know, that far side, we got two. Actually, we're both sides, weak and strong side, two receivers out. Kelly rolls out, fires long. That oh, that's a good pass. Oh, it's intercepted yeah. by uh, Broad Ripple Boy, who's intended for hands again. Hands, but it uh, falls incomplete. Yeah, it went off his hands right there. Is you know not a bad pass. His hands was, you know, he was definitely right there. Yes. And, yeah, again, the broad ripple guy just got his hands off of it, and it just threw the concentration off of Hens as it went off his tips uh, of his fingers. Uh, if he'd got that, he'd have been gone, of course. Stops the clock at five seconds. Yeah, again, like this from Kelly, you know, doing some air and out right here with five <laughs> seconds to go. Again, you got to give the boy all the time he needs to get worked on. And, you know, again, this is a good time. Ooh, I like that. Here's a pitch out to the near side and almost dropped, but... Foreman gets free and keeps going, and, and that's in the half on the 20 yard line. Zebra's on the clock. That's We've reached halftime here at Spartan Stadium three. tonight, and it is Connorsville ahead of the Indianapolis Broad Ripple team by a 33 to 12 score. We'll recap some of the scoring here briefly. The Spartans scored early in the ball game, and they recovered a fumble run. Yeah, yeah, it, it, and again, we took advantage of, of their miscue. Dalton Dubois uh, ran the ball in. Uh, that came with um, just seconds off the clock, and the Boston Spartans went out by uh, a score of 11:03. Uh, was on the clock when uh, the Spartans scored. And the extra point was good to make it a seven or nothing ball game. Uh, with 5:10 on the clock in the first half, the Spartans scored again to make it a 13 to nothing game. Extra point was. Good this time to make it 14 to nothing. As we went into the final minutes of the first period, it was Spartan scoring again with 316 on the clock. Went up to 20 to nothing. The extra point try was missed. So the score was 20 to nothing at the end of the first period. Then the offense for Indianapolis Broad Ripple came to life here in this in this second quarter as they put some points on this ball on the uh, on the scoreboard. The Flowers scored though with 8.04 to go for the Spartans to make it a 26 to 6 ball game. The extra point was good to make it 27 or nothing. And then Broad Ripple scored a, a TD and we had Broad Ripple scoring a couple of times for their 12 points. The extra point was missed and 27 to 12 was the score with a minute and seven seconds to to be played. The Spartans scored 33 to 12 as Foreman ran the ball in. The extra point was missed and the Spartans went up by a 33 to 12 score. And that's where we are at halftime of this game here tonight. It was Connorsville uh, uh, putting on an offensive show. A right? oh, very good offensive show. I mean. They've, they've won at the line. I mean, we've seen us yes. lose games at the line. We're winning at the line. Got some stats here, Fran. 21 rushes, 231 yards. I mean, that's over 10 yards right there. I mean, you, you definitely, I mean, if you're going to get 10 <laughs> yards to carry, you're going to win a ball game. Had five first downs, passing two for four for 30 yards. One of those uh, passes was an actual, uh, was a lateral there to, uh, to Hintz. But uh, again, Kelly's two for four for 30 yards. Have had one fumble, one lost fumble. So yes. only one turnover. Again, some of the we've had some mistakes as far as um, you know some of the penalties have been. We haven't lost anything, but again, got to clean up some of the penalties. Yes. Rod Ripple, they've had eight carries for 74 yards. They've only had two first downs, passing over five, and they've had three turnovers. So again, thanks to uh, Shotzi for the uh, yeah, stats for that. that. So uh, 
you know, again, 231 yards. It's homecoming. The fans, the king, queen's going to be crowned. They're loving every second of it. <laughs> Yeah, we had a parade of floats before the ball game started. They each class had a float, and I'm not, uh, I don't believe they've announced the winner yet, but the judges were here in the press box, and they had a checkoff sheet where they were uh, scoring uh, scoring the floats as they went. I like the juniors. High. Juniors, the, the juniors this year were very good. <laughs> Of course, now we got a parade of cars. I'll never be able to drive, and uh, the king and queen will be announced here very soon. Yeah, this is a, a, a big night for the students, and then the next home game for the Spartans with Our Lawrenceburg in two Martin. weeks will be senior night and pink out night. So that will be a big night. Uh, night. Yeah, that's always a fun night. That's a nice piece of machinery right there. Yeah, yeah. cars. Yeah, they're all over it. Very nice looking. Guy. Yeah, I, uh, I wish I could afford one of those vehicles. Again, we got four Spartan football players. They're, uh, uh, you know, in the court, as you see Donovan Foreman right there, and uh, number uh, 22 for the Spartans. That's uh, Randy uh, Shadley. He's a 5'11 freshman. Number 38 is uh, Dallas Langley. He's a sophomore. And again, Foreman, uh, number 12 right there, he's a senior. And then number 31, as the girls are all happy as you see the crowd. And then number 31, uh, Jared Isaacs, he's another senior. Uh, you know, this is always fun to hear the kids and everyone excited for homecoming as Foreman's receiving his princess. <laughs> Yeah, I tell you what, Foreman and uh, and number 31 there, Jared Isaacs, they're going for the king. So you know, we, both of them well, are they seniors. May, they may have their other crown. That's they? right. Yeah. Half time or second yeah. half here. Well, they got to wear it during their helmet. They got to put it on their helmet and go for it. Uh, but again, that's uh, you know homecoming. It's always fun uh, for these kids. And uh, you know, I think it was my senior year when uh, they finally had a homecoming king. Uh, didn't you just always oh, really? have one? Yeah. Yeah. So I want to say uh, that was uh, you know, uh, my second senior year. So these young ladies are arriving in style. I'll say that for Yeah, them. they are. Again, these yes. are vehicles I'll never be able to drive. Yes. So it's nice to see. Okay, the uh, football player. Who is that, Ron? Uh, that's uh, Isaacs. Okay, that's he's that's helping Jared the, the girl out of the out of the vehicle. Yeah. So we're gonna find out who the well, we got two more seniors coming up. Okay. Yeah. We'll just go ahead and watch this and allow you to enjoy the moments of this homecoming 2017. Final senior queen candidate is Harley McQueen. Harley is the daughter of Michelle and Jason McQueen. Harley is on the CHS soccer, track and field, and basketball team. She also participates in student council and student government. She plans to attend IU East for her RA degree and for their education at IU to become a surgeon nurse. Her escort is team candidate Peyton Caldwell. Peyton is the son of Shane Caldwell. On the CHS track team and cross country team, and to pursue a career in graphic design. Tonight, your 2016 homecoming team, Queen Christian McHenry and Alexis Johnson. We'll be crowning our new Queen of Kings.
Your 2017 homecoming king is Donovan Farmer. Your 2017 homecoming queen is Allie Angel. <laughs> always looking for new partners. If there is a particular area of the center that touches your heart, that's where you should donate your time, talent, and treasure. $25 sponsors an individual through our Healing Hearts Grief Support Program. $45 sponsors an ultrasound scan for a mother. $90 sponsors one week of child care for a single mom. $175 sponsors one woman to go through all programs from pregnancy to birth. $500 sponsors our budget for one day. Any gift given could be the catalyst that saves an unborn life. Please call the center at 825-1244 or visit our website at hopecenterconnersville.com and click on donate. Ready for the second half of action here tonight at Spartan Stadium. Connersville is up over Indianapolis World Ripple 33 to 12 as we begin the second 24 minutes of play, the Spartans will be receiving the kickoff. It's teed up on the 40-yard line by the kicker for Indianapolis Broad Ripple. You know, you see Donna, you see Du Bois right there in the bottom of your screen, kind of walking with slight limp. Ball taken at the 20-yard line by a Spartan up to the 25, to the 30, 35, 36, coming to the near side I and bumped out of bounds. It will oh, be. Oh, that was a late hit. There we go. Yeah, the number 29 has got to get out of here. He's flying all over yeah. every place. And he's jawing with somebody. I mean, that that's just way too many. they got to get that kid out of there. That is not. That's crazy. Yeah, he may be out of the game with the hat coming off. He may be out of the game. See what the yeah. officials rule here. I mean, it's. Yeah, there was absolutely no reason for that. That that was, you know. One of the officials lost his hat. Oh, I think he threw think his he hat. Threw his hat yeah. and flag and everything. Yeah, that may mean that kid may be disqualified. Could he may be. be out of here. Could be. Which he should be. I mean, he yes. slammed Kelly. He he did a late hit earlier that didn't, you know, on, on Du Bois. It wasn't a late hit, but a kind of a high hit that wasn't called. So, you know, they're they're probably going to should be a 15 yard penalty on that. See the officials. Dead ball rule. foul. Personal foul. Yes, yeah. against Broad Ripple. Another unsportsmanlike conduct. Oh, against Connorsville. So, oh, yeah, well. Offsetting penalties. Off penalties, right? Yeah. Well, the, the one kid, number 29, he, you know, almost a face mask right there. Again, that's a nice run there from uh, Isaacs as he's, you know, getting yes, coming up. 31. There's a, that's, that's a good hit right there. And then all of a sudden, now the blue, here comes 29, is going to co cock him in the head. Yeah, see, with it, he lit, led with his head and his shoulder. I mean, that yes. is that kid has got to get out of here. You I can't would think tolerate so. I that mean, that all. I mean, the official. I mean, in the pros, when oh. they do that. Well, in college, or, uh, college, you'd be out of the game. Yes. And this kid needs to be thrown out of the game. Spartans will put the ball in play at their own 41-yard line. Oh, nice There's run. There's a from nice Kelly. play. Ooh. Getting free for nice good yardage and finally rolled out of bounds into Broad Ripple territory at about the 42 yard line. Yeah, nice run there from Du Bois. Had 117 or 18 yards going into the second quarter, needed, or second half. Needed about 182 to get 1,000 yards. And that right there gets him closer and closer to 1,000 yards. First and 10 for the Spartans at the Broad Ripple 46 yard line is where they'll spot. Well, there's number 29 again. 
I wish we knew who that was. Yeah. I'm thinking it's their quarterback, as you said, Michael Koch. But yeah, it could be uh, Michael Koch. They've got him listed at five ten, but yeah, they must that have. might be an error. Oh yeah, when he was in junior high. <laughs> Haven't nice updated run. it since then. Huh? Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they got him listed as a uh, uh, Koch as a uh, senior. So there's the king right there, Donovan Foreman. Again, that hit right to the head right there is. Number 15 went in there, but Foreman, of course, he's wearing the crown of King of Homecoming. Yes. Yeah, he he really smiled real big when his name was announced by Tim Howard, and, you know, that's an honor that he'll get to keep for the We're rest of his life. We're having a walk-off here against the Spartans. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened. Well, it's a big, big penalty here. 115, I think. Gee. That's not not something you want to have when. Back to the 42-yard line, their own 42. Wow. It's going to be a first and 25. Yeah. Yeah, it's first and, and, and long. No, second and long, long, That's long. That's right, second. The officials are explaining it to the Martin coaches. Yeah, I didn't quite I didn't catch see what, what happened. I didn't see anything that happened. But again, we can't be having these types of penalties. You know, then this is a hard-hitting game. I mean, Broad Whipple is 0-5 and... Five and you know, they're, they're going to try to get as much as they can on you. And that's a Here nice run. Here comes play to the near side. Nice run from Du Bois. Du Bois at the 40 of Bob Ripple to the 35, 30, and rolled out of bounds around the 20. Yeah, nice run there from Du Bois again, getting closer and closer as he picked up all the yards and then some to get the first down. And, you know, again, love that uh, play right here. Again, step Foreman, the, the 21 bit on Foreman right there, which gave – uh, du Bois that extra time and picked you know, up again, some blockers. Yeah, yeah, nice stiff arm right there. Is you know he just kept going. I mean he's leading and and if he had some sort of twisted ankle, it's been healed <laughs> and cured. And I mean this kid is you know watching put his shoulder down as he knows he's going to get hit from this kid right there. And you know that kid fell down, but Du Bois kept on his feet. Ball well, spotted at the 22-yard line. Here's the handoff, a pile up as they go into the the line of. Broad ripple, pick up maybe a couple, or three yards. Let's see what where the official spotted. Yeah, look at Foreman right there leading the way, and you know didn't get too many uh, as many yards as you would like on that. About a second and six coming up with the Spartan, and they pick up a four. Connersville in broad ripple territory, threatening here in the opening minutes of the second half. They're out in front, 33-12. You know, very impressed with the fact that, you know, we were backed up from those penalties. And, and boy, Kelly, and that was a fumble. Yeah, we kind of added a few yards on that fumble right there. But, again, Kelly was met right there. Again, that's forward number 24 as he's going after Foreman. And you're going to see Kelly. Yeah, loose football, yeah. but it's but recovered by the Spartans. Yeah, the boy, the right place at the right time for that. Almost looked like he pitched it out, but uh, you know, from here, from that angle, but uh, clearly was stripped from behind. Third down for the Spartans, and about two, not quite. Here's the play coming to oh, the that's near a side, that's and a getting down. free and into the end zone is Connersville. Yeah, that's a and good penalty as that crossed yeah. into the goal line. He was pushed from behind and yeah. flag squad. That's not necessary, but of course, the boy right there, he knows what the game is, gives the kid, kid give give the kid a, a high five. You know, but again, you know, this is a rough ball game. This may be the most physical game that yeah, we have yeah, seen. Yeah, I agree. Fran, I mean. Yes. 8.56 on the clock here in the third period as Dalton Du Bois runs it in for the Spartan score. Yeah, after yeah. Uh, sportsman like conduct right there. You know, watch this right here. Is you know, I mean, definitely. Yeah, he just followed him and when he crossed there. the goal line. He just, just he literally enough. shoved him. And yeah, but after after the play, Du Bois, you know, slapped the guy's hand and you know, 39. just to heat a battle. And that's that's a touchdown right there. That was beautiful. That was. Well, <laughs> <Spartans>. <laughs> yeah, two point two conversion, conversion right there. That was beautiful. Spartans runner in for two points and go up 41 to 12. Yeah, the ball game. Giving the King right there a little bit too much credit with the touchdown, just a two point conversion, but that was beautiful right there. 
I mean, you know, when you have that much green in front of you, Fran, I mean, you know. <laughs> and again, the Spartans, you know, doing a lot of, you know, Kelly, to his credit, you know, fooling, keeping the, the offense or the defensive line honest from Broad Ripple. And again, the Spartans overcame their, their mental mistakes, Fran. They overcame their their penalties uh, and, and marched it and, and scored with relatively ease. Spartans 41. They were then three of their biggest output of the season last week at Rushville. Yeah, yeah. scored 44. They scored 44 points against Rushville. Of course, it seemed like they got those 44 points in the, in the last part of the third quarter <laughs> and the fourth. I mean... Spartans will be kicking off to Broad Ripple. 41 to 12 here in the third period. You know, some people may say, well, how does the last two weeks to play teams that haven't won a game? And and you're right. But again, we're, we're beating teams and we're playing the way we're supposed to play when we're playing teams like that. Well, when, you, when you're when 0 and 5, you're really hungry. Oh, you're very, very I hungry. I mean, and they can be dangerous. Well, and, and again, look how physical this game is. Kickoff Randy. taken at the 10-yard line, and the runner moves it into about the 26-yard line. I mean, it, I mean, this is, you know, we talked about this is the most physical game we've seen. Yes. I mean, I've got a concussion watching these kids get hit. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, this kid right here gets blasted. Look at that right there. I mean, he got, he got blasted, and our <laughs> our kid took the brunt of it as well. I mean, <laughs> nobody. Yeah, he went down hard, yeah. didn't he? Yeah. He, who was that, Ron? Did you uh, get his number? Uh, our guy, number ten. Yeah, that was okay. uh, uh, number ten for us was uh, James Hensley. Okay. He's a six-two senior. Having a good game. The ball yeah. is. Their own 25-yard line for the Rockets. First and ten. Yeah, it looks like they're going to do a lot of passing to try to get back into this ball game. Shotgun formation. Here's the quarterback rolling out, firing, and and yeah, that looked like it went through his body. I mean, that was <laughs> that was a hard complete throw. at the 35-yard <laughs> line. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that was the first play that where he was actually set. Yes. Uh, was able to throw the ball, not had any pressure at all. But again, just not a good pass right there. I mean, he had his, had his receiver open. Second and 10 for Broad Ripple. You know, Broad Ripple just has to, you know. I feel think like you're they, right. They'll go to the air, I yeah. think. And of course, an incomplete pass stops the clock. So right. It's to their advantage to uh, keep the clock running. Here's a that's pass that's going to be it just intended yeah, for, for Spartan, almost <laughs> yeah, number, the Spartans number 11 had, had the best chance of catching that ball. Caleb yeah. Weaver. Yeah, Weaver's like, hey, that ball's coming to me. <laughs> there was no broad a player in sight. No. <laughs> Again, you got to wonder, okay, is that a busted play there from uh, I don't know. You know the no receiver much? was in that area. It had no idea. Yeah. It's third down and 10 for the Rockets. You just got to wonder. I mean, that's just wow. <laughs> I mean, the kid's got an arm. I mean, you yes, he has. Here we, I mean, that's Here he comes taking again a lot of time. Another pass. He fires long. That's and it, off. Oh, no. This one is caught at the 50 that yard line. The yes. A completed yeah. pass by Broad Ripple. Yeah, I, I, I thought it was overthrown. I mean, that was a good, good play there from number five for the Rockets as they had to go up and get that. It was kind of, you know, backwards, Thomas Pearson. First and 10 for Broad Ripple at the 50 yard line. You know, there they go, you know, again, getting some confidence. You know, they're definitely, again, going to be having an air show right here. <laughs> but they're taking a lot of time off the 40-second clock. I would, you know, I'm surprised by that. Now he's behind the Running play this time, and it will go to the right side and pick up some here. yardage. He's going to be short of the first and 10, but it will be around the 42 or 43 yard line. I mean, that, that was a good play. I mean, that he was almost stopped from behind the line. Watch our good, you know, nice, nice uh, penetration there from 
uh, you know, the Spartans. But again, yeah, I thought he was almost going to fumble it and just kind of bounced outside. Nice blocking there from number 15. That's a good blocking, yes. Yeah. Nice blocking. Spartans finally zero in on him. Number 11 slows him down for yeah, well, he a little for bit. The waist. You know, went too high. Gave him about three more yards. Luckily, he didn't get the first down. It's close. Second down and call second and one at the Condorsville 41. Weaver's got to learn. He's and it looks like there's going to be a timeout. Not sure who called it. We'll find out. And that's uh, it's going to be broad uh, ripple timeout. Ripple, yeah, but again, Weaver, you know, got to get around the waist on that. Well, again, very surprised it, it's that you know Broad Ripple is again 40 second clocks. You know, getting, they're eating a lot of that off, which eats off a lot of the game clock. Spartans 41, Broad Ripple 12 here in the third period. Game on TV3. Again, we thank you for joining us. Catch us on YouTube, local TV3 is the channel. Subscribe to that. Catch all the shows that we have on local TV3, government shows, educational shows, of course, sports, local TV3, YouTube.com. Check it out. You know, this is, again, you got to wonder, you know, why they called a timeout right there, you know, a second mm -hmm. and short, but. Timeout's over. They send receivers wide to the right and wide to the left. Under center is the quarterback this time. Yeah, so last two times. Right. So he will hand off and yeah, that's a up nice to run. the middle and. Breaking yep. free for good yardage in the first and ten is a broad ripple ball carrier. Yeah. I like how he got up and signaled for the first down. Yeah, we knew that. <laughs> uh, again, just nice, yeah, nice running right there. Nice power running. You know, puts his head down on on one of our guys and just kind of bowls him over a little bit. And you know, again, he's still going. He's still chugging along. And yeah, he handed it off to the fullback. That's number 15, Camille Sledge. Yeah, he man, he sledgehammered one of five, our guys. Five eleven senior at two ten. He's five eleven. We're six <laughs> foot seven. Here's a sweep to the yeah, far side the and gets close to the fifteen yard line before he's forced out of bounds. Yeah, you know, this is a very good drive from Broad Ripple Fran. I mean, this is something mm -hmm. that you know, obviously, you know, you, you want to see happen. But this is not a drive of a team that's zero and five. I mean, this is a good power drive they they had some passes um just successful that one pass they got the first down uh, but since then they've gone to the ground and they've been very successful a lot of long runs ball is just inside we'll keep it at the 20 yard line of connersville looks like they have it at the 19. the second and one Here's yeah, the play. It's a play. Oh, Spartans oh, Flowers had him. Get through the, and they're chasing him, and he's going to cut the corner and get down to maybe the line of scrimmage. Yeah, maybe at the line of scrimmage. He, yeah, not sure yeah. where they're going to get that, but again, he he you know he ran for 100 yards right there, just yes, a one, trying to or maybe a foot. Get away from the Spartans. <laughs> yeah, I mean they were after him big time. Yeah. And again, yeah. got to wrap him up once you have him like that because he's been known. I mean, he had that long run for the touchdown. Yes. Yeah, look at that. I mean, guys, you have too many guys touching him. And, you know, yeah, that was a nice block there, knocking our guy down there to get him going. And one of our guys tripped over our guy. You know, again, it looks yeah, like we were afraid to tackle him right there. Wiggle three there. Yeah. Here comes the play. It's a third down and three. Broad Ripple deep in Connorsville territory. Yeah, that plunge into the line and the Spartan line holds. Held up, yeah, held up big time. Probably lost the yard as yes. he's coming up on fourth down. They're definitely going to go for it. I mean, field goal is not really going to do anything. Again, nice block, you know, nice. That's a good team effort yeah. by the Spartans defense. Yeah. Look number two there for Broad Ripple trying to push their guy forward. But, you know, we had too many guys. Jalen Murley is 51. He's a sophomore, 5'10", for CHS. Ball at the 20. Yeah, again, why are they taking so long when they're down 29? It Fourth and three, 10 seconds on the yeah. clock. 
Again, I'm shocked. I mean, that's good for us. I mean, go ahead and eat the clock. We're, we're winning by 29. <laughs> sure. Yeah, it's a delay uh, of game. delay of game. The zero's yep. on, the, on the clock, yeah. and they hadn't snapped the ball. So yeah. a five-yard penalty coming up against them. Yeah, th and they may have called timeout. Time Kelly. Time out. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say the way Kelly was screaming, they, they did call a timeout before that. Yeah, Again, apparently. that's just a crazy play there from Brockwood. That, that's sure. right. I mean, it yeah. doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Yeah, now they got one timeout left. Yes. And and a long way to go. Yeah, yeah, a long way to go. Long way to go. <laughs> I mean, yeah. you got almost five minutes left of the third period, yep. plus 12 in the fourth. Right, so. and only one timeout left. <laughs> and that's great. You know, that that's you know you want to waste timeouts. That's fine. That's, that's right. For us. Sure. You, sure. Know, you want to take 39 seconds on the 40-second <laughs> clock while the clock's running? <laughs> hey, keep doing that. We, we don't care. <laughs> but again, you know, Spartans, you know, that third down right there, Fran, I mean, where, the, where they knuckled down and, you know, surprised yeah, that they went held. to the heart. Yeah. yeah. I mean, surprised they went to the heart of of the defensive line there for the Spartans, which have pretty much dominated this whole the whole game. Well, the you know, Congress has been in control, to say the least. Yeah. Ball's a 20-yard line of Connersville. Broad Ripple with a fourth down coming up, fourth and three. It's like you're getting set up for a pass here, Ron. Yeah. Well, yeah, again, we got to watch the busted plays. We got to make yes. sure we watch him scrambling. You know, they got, you know, both. Quarterback has a fullback right next to him. Yeah, and they have, you know, two outs Here's each. Here's a high snap from center. Here's a pass into the end zone that is incomplete. I mean, he had, you know, their, their guy had a, had a beat on our guy. I mean, definitely, you know, would have been a better throw. You know, they would have been looking at six, but threw right behind their guy, made him stop, and, you know. Spartans will take over on downs at the 20-yard line. Yeah, you know, I mean, this is elementary, but yeah, as you know, Fran, when you're a quarterback, you want to give your receivers the opportunity to catch the ball, mm -hmm. and that's why you, you, know, you try to catch them in stride. Uh, you know, try to hit it to a spot where the, res the, the defensive player, you know, has no chance. And, and again, their guy had a, had, a, had a step on our guy. And uh, he just, you know, just... Yeah, if he had caught it, he had a touchdown. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. But just not a good throw. Right. Here we go. Spartans take over here in the third period. Oh, look at this Ball blocking. Slipped. <laughs> Boy, they get his thousand yards right here. And it oh, is... Oh, he's gone. That's a, well, he's uh, over a touchdown coming up by the Spartans. Yeah. That is... That is yeah, that was, that was beautiful. That was Dalton DeBoy right there. That gave him over a thousand. Yeah, that... Yeah, he's... He's got over 200 yards right now, and, and so. <laughs> Surprise number 32 scored. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, when he limped off there after the end of the well, second quarter. Well, it did quarter, not look yeah, good. Yeah, did not look good at all. But, again, you know, the blocking, you're not seeing the, well, they're right there. Look at the blocking right there, friend. Right yes. There. I mean, he's 30 yards in right there. Well, I talked to Dalton, and he gives his teammates all the credit in the world oh, yeah. because of his ability to oh, yeah. pick up the rushing yard. You know, he's a special kid. He's a good yes. kid. He's not going to be one of those showboaters. Look at him just dropping the ball. He's not slamming it. He's not, you know, doing anything funky. He's, you know, uh, but again, that puts him over a thousand yards for the season, Fran. I don't remember the last time we had a... Had I can't. Runner. It's been a while. Yeah. It's been a Boy, while. And it only took him six games. I know. He has three yeah. games left. It's, yeah. We're just, this is a... Two thirds of the season tonight. Yeah, he may get 1,500 yards, and he may uh -huh. be on another 300-yard game today. I mean, he's yes. over 200, no doubt, right now. I mean, extra point kick was good to put the score at 48 to 12 in favor of Connorsville. Yeah, that's that, that, that. Again, I'm I'm so happy and so proud of the of the blocking. I mean, that's you know. When you're 30 yards down and your guys are, are blocking, that's beautiful. Du Bois will kick off. Yeah, he's finally got his leg fixed, so he's going to, you know, kick. Yeah, get, love this game. Love it when we're up like this. Three guys deep for... Broad Ripple and the guy at the 10 takes the ball, gets to the 20, to the 25, and that buys five or six Spartans and drop. Again, you like that, you know, the five or six yes. Spartans right there, you, you definitely <laughs> like that. See where they place the ball. The officials are 
exchanging football right now. Right now. 25. Right. Broad Ripple at the 25-yard line will be putting the ball in play. Yeah, we've surpassed our season high. I'm not That's sure. Right. We had 44 against Riceville was yeah. our season high, so we're at 48 right now. You know, can't remember the last time we scored 50. <laughs> It'd be nice if, if we can put, you know, over 50 up here. Okay, Broad Ripples. Quarterback under center. Hands off. To the right side goes the runner. Spartans meet him right around. He may have lost. Yeah, I was going to say, I thought he may have got back to the, but, yeah, the, no, they're going to give him a yard. Oh, they are, yes. Yeah, I thought. Yeah, I, I agree. Yeah. Man. Yeah, I thought he may have lost a yard there, as we see again. You know, no, really no blocking right there. And, yeah, he's met, well, maybe, it looked like he. Yeah, forward I'm surprised motion, I suppose. Well, it looked like his forward motion was right at the line of scrimmage. Mm -hmm. But, uh, but you know, it looked like he did get maybe just that extra yard there, right there. So We'll call it a second and nine. Although. Yeah, nine and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Under center is the quarterback, tight formation. There's a pass that is batted down by the intended receiver. Yeah, and I'm not sure he even saw the ball. <laughs> that didn't act like it, did it? No, he just, at the last minute, saw the ball out there, put his arm, I mean, again, two, not a good pass there from 29. That's the 35-yard line is where that ball came down, so it goes back to the line of scrimmage and a third down coming up. Yeah, well, they, you know, stopped the clock on that. You know, still not quite sure exactly, you know, of course I can see now since we're not, no clock is, is running, but boy, they're really using all the 40 seconds. Yeah, it's down to four, three, two. Yeah, they're not going to get one. it. No, no they, they didn't. Nope, nope, they didn't yep, no, they make didn't. it. Flags fly. Well, I don't know if that's on us or if, it, well, he's. Here's a. Right run yeah, on the far sideline. Yeah, I don't know if that was on yeah, us or I, I don't know what the flag was, but it looked like him. Mean, he was down to you had to leave game. Yep. Yeah, it was a good yep. side. The clock was zeros, and then I saw the official throw yeah, the flag. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Yeah. I, yes, but I'm like you. What was happening? Yeah, the, yeah. Because <laughs> I was watching that part. <laughs> You're right, <laughs> and I wasn't sure if, if if he had gotten it off in time, and maybe there was a, a an offside on our part. I don't know, but mm -hmm. uh, again. You know, I don't understand why they're using all the 40-second clock. I don't uh, either. <laughs> especially when, when, when the clock is, is uh, you know, is running. Third down coming up, third and 14 for Broad Ripple. Yeah, Keeping their own territory. Not something they want. Again, keep going down. I mean, you're, that's <laughs> five seconds. Keep going down. <laughs> that's three. Yeah. No, they flip it or they... He's going Hike it at three seconds this time. That's a pass There's, interference. Yep. Uh, Spartan interfering with the intended receiver. Yeah, and their guy's slow to get up. Yeah, he's finally. Oh, he's finally getting up. Yeah, a teammate comes up and. Yeah, again, that's pretty much the same play. That, you know, the pass interference when it came to uh, Broad Ripple. You know, too much contact, not really. You know, not really going for the ball. So, yeah, that, that hurts us. That gives them a first down for sure. You know, again, those type of penalties is, I mean, again, we're not worried because we're up by 36. Yes. But again, you don't want to have these penalties, Fran. Yeah, I mean, no matter if you're up 36 or, or whatever, you don't want to have these penalties. And now it's first and 10. And, you know, you just give them, give them you know, four extra downs. You give them That's momentum. Right. Ball's at the 36-yard line. You know, the 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 way that we played defensively was wasted so it's time to readjust and and you know go back to your bread and butter first and ten a pass coming up as a quarterback in the shotgun oh being chased yep, and down. dropped at the 25 yard line yeah. good defense by the spartans very very good defense from the some of the fellows in there ron i couldn't quite see who they were we're gonna see right here as you see flowers right there getting getting around number 70 for the spartans and looked like what number 65 and of course flowers right there so, you know, that's uh, Cody Weaver. He's a six-foot uh, senior. And uh, what was the number 65? Brent Davis, yeah, freshman, 5'9". So you like that. Yes. 60. 
It was number 60, uh, Dylan Roan. And it was number 60, so. Okay, a second down coming up for, for Broad Ripple and second and 14. And the quarterback being chased out of the pocket, fires long and out of the reach of the intended receiver at the Connersville 45 yard line. Yeah, that's, you know, again, we've seen that how many times tonight, him, you know, just flushed out of his pocket. You know, you don't want to be flushed out of your pocket unless it's a design play. And, mm -hmm. and definitely, you know, that, that wasn't a design play, but again, good defense for the Spartans to be able to flush him out at the line, but also not giving him anybody to throw to. You know, nice coverage. Uh, you know, cover defense from the Spartans. Back to the line of scrimmage we go, and it's third down coming up. Third and 14 for Broad Ripple. You know, this is where they, you know, had the pass interference, so we got to watch it, you know, going down. You know, look for a down and out right here, and, you know, to maybe try to get a pass interference. Quarterback rolls out, now yeah, runs, and is mobbed and dropped at the 25 yard line. They have lost the yard on that, so, you know, fourth down. See if it's a punting situation. Yeah, it should be a punting situation. Quarterback slowly getting yeah. up, finally does. You know, what happens when they pass, you know, there are three things that can happen to them are not good, Ron. Right, oh yeah, definitely not good, and that's one of the not good right there. The, the good yeah. is uh, it's complete, and the not good are intercepted and yeah. incomplete. Or so. a sack. Yes. So three, yeah, well, yeah, so we, you know, that's. We're seeing a lot of that tonight. Well, you know, again, our, again we, we've talked about winning at the line. That's what we're doing. Our defense is just. You know, again, we talked about patient on offense, patient on defense. There's a punt. That's a bad snap a from punt. center, and the Spartans. Not a punt at all. Uh, no, the, 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 the fellow never got, got the ball. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, and the Spartans take over. When you're feeling that kind of pressure, you know, you're yes. you're, you're watching the ball plus the, the, the wave of red coming at you. <laughs> it's around the 20-yard line. Yeah. Let's see where they finally place it down. It is at the 20-yard line. And the Spartans will be taking over at the Broad Ripple 20 with 27 seconds left to play here in the third period. Absolutely, positively love. Another big break. Yeah, yeah, another big break. But, you know, you know, we, we've, you know, again, the pressure, you know, we've, you know, it's nice when you force turnovers. You know, when, when, when sure. they make mental mistakes, you got to be aware because they can correct those. When we force those turnovers, that's when, you know, I mean, that's, you, you love that as a coach. Spartans go on the attack. Here's Kelly under center. Clock starts. Here's the handoff. And That's a nice run. Getting free for five or six yards. Spartan ball carrier. Yeah, Du Bois uh, right there. Again, he's definitely over 1,000 yards for the season. Definitely over 200 for this game. And, you know, he's got, you know, 500 yards in two games. Yes. You know, but again, right there, that, again, a little bit of a lane, and, and he turns it into to big yards. I mean, it wasn't a, you know, huge hole. It was just enough to where he can get four or five yards out of that if we're going to end the yeah, third. we've reached the end of the third period with the Spartans out of run 48 to 12 over Broad Ripple. That's just... You know, again, we know we've been on the other side, Fran. I mean, that game against yes. Franklin County. That game against Franklin County, we were down. I mean, we, we got dusted by by 50. And, you know, that yes. stays with you. You know, you, you, can, you can roll over and stop. Uh, we came back and had that heartbreaking loss a week or so later against Greensburg. I mean, that was... Yeah, if that ball game would have been a minute earlier, the yeah. Spartans would have another yeah. victory here. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we you know, we took the lead with about a minute 15 to go. And, yes. And... and he lost it. Yeah, well, we had a big penalty, and yep, they had yep, to kick off right, from the yeah. 25-yard yeah. line instead of the 40. And yeah, they gave them good position. Made no mistakes in the final oh. minute. No, they scored. did what they had to do to score. Yes. And so, you know, that that's a heartbreaking loss. We mm -hmm. come back on the road against South Dearborn, beat them pretty handily, played that Rushville game where, my goodness, it looked like for three and a half quarters we weren't going to win that ball game. That's right. So we finally, again, we kept our composure, we kept our patience, and we just physically wore them down, and we came back and walked away with a victory. Play, play a, a Broad Ripple team who is just as hungry as Rushville was. Yes. Um, but, you know, again, they get here a little bit late, didn't have that much time to prepare, and you know, we've taken advantage of it. You know, we have some girls excited about something. There's and a run by the Spartan to sweep, and Getting close to the goal line was the ball carry. I believe that was Hintz, number 15. 
Yeah, I'm not I don't sure know what the hollering is going. Well, I, I think they may have announced uh, the winning float. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I don't know what team they are, but they're what what class they they're are. Happy they're happy. Anyway. Yeah. We'll have to find out from who, but they're excited. I think they were excited about the run. As it got us up to again, nice run here. As you see, the king. Uh, maybe that's why they're you know the homecoming king gets the ball and again. You know he sees that number 15 and kind of zigs outside. Sees a lot of green. That's yeah, Donovan Foreman, number yeah. 12. The Spartans are right around the five-yard line. Oh, looks like they're going to be at the two right there. Okay, first and goal. Now they got him at the Here's three. There's a plunge into the line. No signal from, nope, short of the goal yeah, line. Just a little short right there again. You know, these are fun games to watch. These are fun games to play. You know, when you have the confidence and you're at the one and you just feel and you know you're going to score. Spartans feeling good about their chances to push it into the end zone. Second down and goal, Connorsville. You know, we got to hurry and get Du Bois off the field. Is, or <laughs> no, that was uh, Foreman. Yes. Here's a play into yeah, the that, line of they got him in there, Ripple. Yeah. Yep. Touchdown. And I think that is Du Bois who got the ball. Well, no, who? Let's see who. That's the umpire. Ball here Let's see is here. A touchdown. We'll see right here. That's a handoff. number that's three for the Spartans. That's here. looks like Warren Tool. Yes, yep. he, he carried the ball in. Like that, sure did. Yes. Like that, Warren Tool. He's a 5'10 junior. He'll be back next year. You know, like that is Du Bois is in for the extra point as we are putting up 50 points tonight, friend. You gotta love it. <laughs> Gotta love it. Yeah. 1025 on the clock. And the extra Jeez, point is put that kick <laughs> good. Yeah. He may be able to hit it from 30. <laughs> Spartans go up by a 54 to 12 score. I think it's 55. Yeah, it's 55. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah well, it's They just now change it. Yeah. 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 Connorsville 55. It's been a while since they put 55 points on them. No, no, I, you know, I, I can't remember the, the, you know, we've had stretches where we didn't put 55 up in 10 games. I mean, <laughs> you know, so to see these boys, to see the excitement of the faithful, you know, Adam Kelly's got to be feeling good as he's, you know, these boys are playing very, very good. They're peaking at the right time. You know, this, I mean, we're not expecting a breakdown from the Rockets. I mean, you can just go ahead and chalk this up into the, the win column unless something freaky happens. But you know, the faithful, they deserve this victory here on this home field. The Spartans, they deserve to win the game here uh, at, 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 at their home field. I mean, they definitely deserve it without question. There's the kickoff. Short one this time, taken by number 11 at the 26 yard line. Scoots to the far side, cuts a corner along the sideline, and uh, gets it to run. about the 43, 44 yard line. Yeah, yard pretty line. good field position there for, for um, Broad Ripple. That was Rayvon Cameron who returned the kick. He's a 5'6 yeah, student at Broad Ripple. Now the defensive unit for the Spartans comes on. Ball spotted at the 46 yard line, 47. First and 10 for Broad Ripple at their own 47, we'll put it. And this is one of those games, frames where we can get some kids in there that haven't played in a while, get them some experience. That's important, yes. Yeah, very important. Very important. Spartans had three tough games remaining on yeah, the schedule. Yeah, I was going to say that, yeah. I mean, they'll be at East Central. Yeah, that's, wow. Their next ball game at East Central. East yeah. Central is three and two, but their Shocking. two losses have been to Cincinnati okay, schools. Oh, nice, nice tackle by the Spartans. Number 10, James Hensley. Yeah, he chased that ball carrier all over the field and finally dropped him around the 31, 32 yard line. Yeah. There they spotted at the 35. Yeah, and he's and not getting he's, up at all. He's on all fours right now. Now he's getting up. Yeah, he's, you know, again, this is a small team as, you know, you see the, the, the wave of red right there come around and, <laughs> you know, just slow him down a little bit up and here comes Hensley. And, you know, he just, wow, throws him up and turns him around, and there he goes. <laughs> you no, know, that was Chapelo. Oh, no, wait a minute. That was Hensley. Sorry. I yeah, saw number 10. 10 yeah, right. I, saw, mm -hmm. I looked at Chapelo as a sophomore. I saw his <laughs> as a sophomore. Yeah, you were definitely right. Yeah, okay, that's the Rockets with a ball. 
35 they will call yard timeout line. Again. That's going to be their last timeout. Not sure unless uh, we got a signal it. yet. Uh, have we? No, we have not. Uh, and apparently there is a timeout because. Well, I haven't seen the who they signaled. And I Tim know. Said I something I couldn't uh, hear him. I didn't see it either. I don't think it would be Connor so. Well, I would hope not. <laughs> Let me see what we got here. No, they're they're still. Yeah. Second down and 22 yards to go for a first and 10 for Broad Ripple at their own 35 yard line. I guess it is Broad Ripple. I heard the guys down there say, you know, last time out. So, you know, again, that's their their last time out here. And, mm -hmm. you know, they're down 43. You know, it's one of those games where, you know, you, you, you know, I've said it before many times. I. I would rather get blown out than, than, to, than to lose a heartbreaking game. I mean, I, I really would because um, when you you know you play hard, but you those are, those stay with you so badly. Um, you know th these blowouts. I mean, it's you know the better team just won. Timeouts over, and the Rip Little Rockets are ready to go to work here. A little over nine minutes show on the clock. It's like a shotgun formation, so yep. that means pass. And yep. here is a again, ball that is underthrown. Intend to receive again down on his knees. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't think it's that wet out there. No, Nobody no. else is slipping. No, I mean, and, and, and you know, he, he's he's got an arm. I mean, that quarterback, yes. who, whoever he is, number 29, yeah, he, he's he got fired, a cannon. He fires hard. I yeah, think. I mean, he's I mean, throwing off his back foot right there, and, and you get 25 yards right there again. Just not, not accurate at all. Third down and long for Broad Ripple. You know, you can have all the all the skills in the world, but if you don't have any accuracy at all, it, it all goes out the window. Fading for a pass, being chased by a Spartan, getting free from one, and, and free, free from, from, from another. But he's finally dropped at the 30-yard line. He finally made the tackle run. I tell you what, number 51 for the Spartans, that's uh, Jaden Murray. He has just really been all over the place tonight and, you know, definitely doesn't get that much credit. As you see Flowers right there, he's he's one of those beasts on defense as well. And, you know, again, number 60 for the Spartans, Dylan Rowan. He's you know, right there shaking him up. And, you know, what was that, 56? You know, he fell on his head. I think it was 56 right there. Uh, for the Spartans, well, we don't have a 56. So we'll Here's a that punt was. coming up. The punter at the 15-yard line for Broad Ripple. Yeah, I mean, that's what Low snap. He finally had to make a second try for yeah. it. Finally picks it up and gets it away. And it bounces around the 50 and uh, will be down at the 45-yard uh, line. That's yeah. where the Spartans will take over. 7.51. He played in tonight's ball game. Well, Connors are way out in front. Well, way out in front. But right now, Broad Ripple can't tie, you know, time out, so we're just probably be on the ground the whole time. Sure, eat some clock. Oh, very much eat the clock. You're going to yes. use all the 25 seconds. I keep saying 40. I don't know why I keep saying 40 second clock. That's, <laughs> that's not. But the 25 second <laughs> clock is what it is. And um, yes. Um, yeah, well, I don't know. Why I'm giving them extra credit. It's 25 seconds. <laughs> 40s in what college basketball, I think. <laughs> but again, just go ahead and set the, the, you know, let the 40 or 25 second clock yes. run down. You know, two, three seconds, but and, and no, or did I eight? Here's a running play coming up. Good yardage for the Spartans. Yeah. They get into the territory of the Broad Ripple team. Yeah, that's number 24 for the Spartans. Colton Sizemore, he's a sophomore. I'd like to see him get yeah, some this is great to see these ninth graders out here yeah. tonight. Yeah, and he, you know, he got some uh, good yardage right there. As you see, again, following his blockers, he's be at the 46, just short of the first and 10. Yeah, look at his blockers right there, you know, going into the, the back of them. And, you know, again, keeping his feet going, getting that extra three, four, five yards. You know, almost got the first down when he should have been stopped three, four, five yards before. Here comes a play by the Spartans. It's then an eye formation for a change. Oh, yeah. Nice run there from Kelly nice hands first off down. and first and 10 for Connorsville as they go up to the center of that road ripple line. Yeah, Caleb Messer, he's a freshman as well. He, you know, got the first down for the Spurs. First and 10 for Connors Hill at the 42-yard line of road ripple. Yeah, these freshmen, you got to like that. I mean, we got a lot of freshmen on our team, Fran, and, you know, definitely want to get them in games like this, a lot of experience. And, 
you know, especially since this is, you know, pretty much the first team for Broad Ripple since they only have 21 players. So, again, you know, going up against the team's first string. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's a nice blocking, nice running right there. Again, Sorry, blocking makes all the here. difference in the world. They got to have the 35. Ball at the 35-yard line after a nice pickup by Connersville. We'll call it the 36. Yeah. Hand off by four. Kelly. Yeah, very good. Again, just watch that. But again, just like the blocking. And, and again, watch the legs run or legs keep going. And, you know, like to see that fundamental play from the freshman. Hartsburg comes to Connors Hill two weeks from tonight. The Tigers are 4-1 and one on the season, so that'll be a tough game. Yeah, well, you know, again, we got the tough games going in the sectional, but, yes. you know, got some momentum right here. And they close at Batesville on October the 13th, yeah. and they are 3-2 and two right now going into tonight's action. Yeah, that so. East Central team, though, geez. <laughs> you know, well, they play those Cincinnati teams that are like pros. I mean, they really do. <laughs> yeah, I and know, then, I know. And when we played them last year, they had, you know, like a – I think 200 kids. Yes. I mean, yes. I mean, it was crazy they, how they, I mean, the whole sideline was filled up. Third down for the Spartans, third and four. They're in Broad Ripple territory at the 35 yard line. 55 to 12, Spartans out in front. You know, that's kind of a real tight offensive right there. And, you know, getting getting the freshman in there like Kelly that. Kelly under center. Here's the pitch out to the near side. And Comes the nice. ball oh, carrier, oh. cuts a corner, and oh, is oh, down oh, around oh, the 30-yard oh, line. Oh, Cotton, oh, Colton Sizemore, freshman, 5'7". You know, I like Colton's run right there. You know, I mean, he was, I mean, he didn't have anywhere to go right here. You got a lot of white jerseys meeting <laughs> yes. him right there behind awesome. the line. And, you know, and I thought, well, we're not going to get the first down. And he's, you know, again, shakes off and then, sees that little bit of a lane and starts, you know, firing up and takes the advantage of the kid running, and he dives for the first down. You know, like his run right there, that's some good play in there from the freshman. 32-yard line is where the ball rests, the broad ripple 32. First and 10 for Connersville. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's Here's a play, and the broad ripple here. this time had it pretty well figured out. Yeah. I mean, they were on yeah. the ball carrier like, like right that. now. Yeah, they were on him like definitely like right now. <laughs> you know, again, enjoy the fact that we got the freshman in here and, again, led by a freshman quarterback. So, you know, these kids, you know, have gone to school together. They came up through the mm -hmm. system together. So it's good to see them get, get some experience. And, you know, this is our future right here on the field is we're just going to eat the clock. No gate on the play. So it's second and ten for Connersville. Yeah, keep going down. I wouldn't even get set until we're 10 seconds at least, and that's pretty much what they're going to be doing. Fran, here we go, 10 seconds on the 25-second clock. <laughs> Here's the handoff. But watch you following it. That's Number beautiful. 24 picking up some yeah. blockers. I mean, didn't Five get what he wanted out of that, but again, that was nice. You know, put his hand on his blocker there to, you know, be patient. Size more again. Uh, yeah, watch you got it down hand. to the 30 yard line, so picked up a little bit. Yeah, but again, just just couldn't get outside, uh, you know, and again, got a couple of yards, but uh, again, like that as he was following his blocker right there, didn't try to do too much to where he could have lost a yard. And they got a third and eight coming up for Connors Hill. Yeah, I'd love to see them score with the, with these kids right here. Oh, well, that'd be super for the ninth graders. Yeah, and I tell you what, these girls, if they do push-ups, you know, 67 push-ups, that's, <laughs> you know, they do that. that Kelly in their center. There's the handoff nice coming run. to the near Line side. The this yeah. is a four-down territory. Going to be close to the first and ten. Yeah, that was beautiful. I mean, that that's from here, look. Oh, it is a first down. Wow, that's very good. I didn't think he got it right there. But again, look. Watch it, follow his blockers, put the hand on the blocker, see the lane right there, cuts back. And again, just, you know, taking what's given to him and, and not stopping until he gets that first down. That's awesome running there from Sizemore as he, you know, again, can't stress it up. He's a freshman getting the experience. Ball at the 20-yard line of Broad Ripple. First and 10 for Connersville. Under two minutes left to play in tonight's game. Yeah, that, uh, you know, again, would love to see them score with this unit on the field. Yes. I like to see Kelly pass, you know, get a good passing play with these kids. It's number 19 <laughs> goes in motion. Uh, he's under Sinop. Going to call for a timeout, I think. But he is. 
Yeah, we take time yeah, out. Spartan calling for a timeout. Yeah, timeout. Yeah, I'm not sure what Kelly saw that he didn't like, but you know, 140 to go. He wants this team to score. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I mean, this game's yeah. over. They're it, not going to come back. But put him uh, over the 60 point mark, and that would. And some may say, well, geez, why is he trying to score being up 43? Uh, but again, this is his second, third string. Yes. So might as well get them yes. some experience. Sure. And again, we're playing a team that, that only has 21 players. So this is their first, second, and third string that's played the whole game. So, you know, we definitely want to try to get these kids to score. And it's not showing off against Broadway, but it's not, not, you know, it's not putting a stake in their back. It's mm -hmm. not, it's doing something that we're, we're, we're working with our, as you see the faithful right there, they're loving it. Kind of thinning out a little bit, <laughs> but they're loving it. You know, okay, here we go, a quick timeout, and we're about to resume play here. I can't remember the last time we had a resounding homecoming victory like this. Here's the handoff coming to the near side and caught oh, wow. by the jersey, but getting free. Oh, my goodness. Number 24 puts his head down and picks up some pretty good yardage. Yeah, he size did. more. Yeah, he, you know, he lost about 10 yards on that, it seemed like. Yes. His, you know, it looked like he wasn't going to get anywhere well, on he, that. His, he, his lane closed up right there. He's improvising right now, doing a little stiff arm right there. You know, he gets caught right here. And yes, he was chased by the whole Broad Ripple yeah, team, I think. Yeah, you know, but he kept going, and, you know, he, again, sees that lane right here, and he's like, oh, boom, I've got to go. Ball to 13. So second and two for Connorsville. One minute shows on the clock. Yeah, taking all the time as Kelly checking his line, looks over the defense. Yep. Here's the handoff oh, into the nice end zone. Good Goes job. Over. Yes, very nice and job. That's a nice score by Connor Caleb Messer. Caleb Messer, 5'9", yeah. ninth grader. Yeah, again, very nice run there from Messer. Again, right there is the, the lane that's opened up. Kind of sees the lane opening to his left a little bit. And, you know, he sees it. He takes it. He scores. You know, very good for the Spartans to have their, you know, freshman, their second, third string get in there against Broad Ripple and score and puts us over the 60 uh, point mark. Again, I don't see these girls doing any, <laughs> you know. Yeah. yeah, very, very good for the Spartans as you like that. Very I didn't. Point yeah. So 61 to 12, it's the first time in a uh, you know, long time that we have seen uh, those kind of points put up from the Spartans. You know, again, very impressed with Dalton Boys Again, you know, had that ankle injury going out of the uh, second quarter into half and kind of scared. I mean, it, it, it looked very scary. So yes, not, it did not look good. Yeah, the way he was he helped was back to the locker room. Hobbling around, yeah. yes. And I mean, and that, that scared us. But again, this kid's had almost 600 yards in, in two games. I mean, this kid, you know, he got over 1,000 yards for the season today. I'll ask Shotzi here in a little bit to find out exactly how much he's had all season, uh, this game, but without question, over 200 yards, maybe close to 225, maybe a little bit more. Uh, again, we're going to miss that kid. He's ready to kick off. Here we go. He, this boot. time backs up the receivers at the six-yard line. It's caught by... Wow, that was a nice hit. That was an elbow. Yes, by a Good ripple Good boy. Yeah, he elbowed he, our number seven there, Jared Snicketer. Returns it to the 27. Snicker. Clock is running, and the game is over as Broad Ripple will not try any more plays. Yeah, ain't no sense in that. Yeah. I believe the... Yeah, I don't know uh, why they would. I mean, uh, well, the uh, clock they were running off the, they were running off the field. Yeah, the clock has to stop. Yeah, that's right. Now they're coming back onto the field. Yeah, the clock has to stop. That's right. Yeah, so here we go, though. They'll definitely go for it as the Spartan faithful enjoying this homecoming victory. <laughs> it's nice to say that. Yeah, it very yes. much nice to say it. Again, nice to see a three-game winning streak. I can't remember the last time we had a three-game winning streak. <laughs> it's I can't been remember, a while. You know. <laughs> Again, nice to see us. It, and again, what's impressive about this team is that, you know, we've won all of our games on the road until tonight. Yeah, our first home victory. Yeah, finally got our home victory as they're probably going to go for a big Hail Mary. Here's a pass that will be fired upfield and, and that's a caught. 
And it's going to be a score by Broad yeah. Ripple. Who would have yeah. thought it? Uh, who would have thought it? Yeah, right, right. Yeah, give him a touchdown there. So you know, that's eight <laughs> seconds to go. So maybe we'll. 8.7 seconds. That was, I think, the first completed pass, wasn't it, Ron? Yeah, for a long time. I yeah, think yeah, so. yeah. Well, they had that one touchdown on that completed pass. That wasn't a good. That was a perfect pass. I mean, that's the kind of yes. pass that you want. On, you know, right on the numbers, in stride. And, and the know. receiver was beyond the defenders and yep. saw nothing um, between. Yep. Very good, though. Glad that they got the score. Still a 42-point victory. You can't uh, lay your hat down on that. So the extra point try coming up here for Rod Ripple. Going to try a two-point conversion. Eight point seconds to go, and they want to score. And that I, I don't know what they were doing on that. Looks like maybe a fumble, Ruski. No signal from the ref yet. Yeah, well, didn't make it. Well, not at all. I have no idea why they would do that. That <laughs> I don't. I mean, <laughs> okay, man. That's what were they thinking? You're three yards out. I mean, <laughs> you know, unless he's Fran Schummel, he's not going to get in there. <laughs> Sixty-one you know? to eighteen is the score. The Spartans will re. Receive the kickoff with 8.7 seconds on the clock. I made me a liar. It's 43 points. I thought they were going to probably <laughs> give them the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> now I'd like to see us run it back. You know. Yeah, we haven't had one of those this I year. I haven't had one so. since they scored with eight seconds to go. Let's so, go ahead and let's so run it back. Not? Yeah. Why not? Get them to run it back. They're slowly walking oh, they're, up. They're, 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 they're in no time. hurry, yeah, are no. they? This they, is, they meet with the coach after a score. And yeah. Which uh, very seldom happens. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but now they're finally wandering onto the field. Well, you know, here's here. You know, again, they're 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 done after this season. The whole school is closing down. Yes. It's sad to see. It looks like they only have two coaches. There's nobody up here in the booth for defense or offensive coordinator. So mm -hmm. you know. You, you know, th this coach dedicated to these kids. Uh, I want to see them through the whole end. I'd like to see them win. Didn't want to see them win tonight, of course, but I'd like to see them get a victory. I mean, these are yes, you know, sure. very physical, a lot of physical plays. Number 29, you know, laid the hammer down a few times. Uh, but again, this is a, you know, some, a, 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 these kids came here to play. They came here to win. And, um, you know, we just outclassed them and, and took advantage of all the, the, the their, their disadvantages. Here's a kickoff by Bro Ripple to Connors Hill. Yeah, I'm, they, yeah, I was going to say, when is this going to happen? <laughs> oh, it's a bad kick off the side of his foot. Goes out of bounds at about the 35-yard line. And that's where we'll get the ball at the 35, and that's the ball game. Clock has hit zeros, and the final score here tonight is 61, Connersville, 18 for Broad Ripple. Their sixth loss. Spartans fourth win. Connors Hill is now four and two. Broad Ripple is zero and six. Ron, has been an exciting game for the Spartans. And as you keep saying, a lot of underclassmen got some valuable experience. Yeah, very valuable experience, especially scoring on that last uh, drive for the Spartans. A lot of freshmen in. Of course, Kelly, uh, the leader of the team as a quarterback, as a freshman. Like to see Sizemore uh, the way that he ran, and of course Caleb Messer scoring. Uh, very good to see. Again, the Spartans, you know, one of the things that we can do to, to learn and improve, especially because you can't have these middle mistakes against East Central. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. A lot of middle mistakes. But again, yes. you know, we kept our composure. That was something that uh, carried over from the Rushville game. We were patient. I love the way that our running backs were able to, you know, get, get clear vision down the field. Uh, you know, a total team victory for the Spartans. And, uh, you know, again, three-game winning streak, you got to like it. 33-12 was the halftime score in favor of the Spartans, of course, and they go on to get a victory of 61-18. to Nice homecoming victory for yeah. the fans that came to watch the Spartans, and I know they go home happy. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You definitely go home happy. If you're going to have a victory, you definitely want to have it here on homecoming. Uh, the first, the very first, uh, victory of the season here on Spartan Field. So, <laughs> like it. 61-18, the final for Ron Wilder. This is Fran Shomo thanking you as always for watching Spartan Sports on TV3. Good night, everybody.